Madam, sir, the ship lies at anchor off New Eden. A tender stands at your disposal. Dreamed of clouds, great long fluffy bastards, low over the sea. I dreamed of the abyss, in the darkest reaches of the deepest ocean. A good day to you, my love. And a good day to you, too. Are we in New England? <sighs> Welcome to America. Something's bothering you. Charles's letter. What of it? The ghost must be uncommonly dangerous, or he would banish it himself. And we shall charge him double. <sighs> I'm serious. If the Reverend needs help, this can be no easy business. Red, you best be ready. I'll be careful, Master Duarte. Your apprentice stands ready to serve. Come on, Antea, we need to go. And I need to be. <laughs> Rory McWraith, gallant to the last. Life to the living, death to the dead. Consider our lovers, Antea and Red, the greatest banishers I ever knew. Life to the living, we say and death to the dead. It is not so simple. Since the dawn of humanity, the dead have lingered. Dead as alive, we are complex and emotional beings. Many entangled are the ties that bind. Since the beginning of memory, banishers have fought to sever those ties. Death is but a trifle. It comes to us all to haunt or be haunted. There lies the true horror. I, Charles Davenport, should know it. The haunting of New Eden scared me to death. I dearly wish I had not begged my friends to come and lift the curse. If this is June, I'd hate to see January. I'd want to freeze my backside off in the summertime. I'd have stayed in Scotland. London wasn't much better. Look at it. It's cold as a bishop's arse. And twice as white. I don't mind saying it, I'm very disappointed. Charles wasn't lying. New Eden is cold as death. You may well be disappointed. You'd better be at the tavern. With a hot grog. Or two. I think I weary of long, boring sea voyages to grim, faraway lands. I can't remember the last time we did something else than work. 
After this, we should set sail somewhere warm and safe. The dead don't linger. No such place. But it's not a bad idea. Have I mentioned how grim this place is? I heard you the first time, but I don't disagree. I think we can get through here. Sure. Let's go traipsing through the rotten, falling down house. Much steady enough. going. I'll find a way to meet up with you. Over-eager apprentices. Just a sneaky wanderer. You? Same, but I managed. Are these spectres watching the road? Maybe, but are they keeping people outside town? Or are they keeping them in? Behind you! Yeah, as easy as falling off a box. Yeah. Can't tell how long these people are dead. The original settlers, perhaps. Whoever, this doesn't bode well. These people left New Eden Town just a few days ago. What exactly is going on here? badly for the case. 
situation is worse than you thought. Let's wait to hear what Charles has to say. Empty docks in a growing settlement. Never a good sign. By the time selectmen sitting on their arses. Isn't that what selectmen do? Let's find the inn. Let's find Charles. It'll be good to see Charles and Esther again. <laughs> Would you a lecture on the sanctity of marriage? A pretty word for a set of shackles. I'm sure folk here are just as open-minded as Charles. This must be the end. Charlie, we're here. Your prayers are answered. Poor as a drink. Finally. Banish it. Please, come in. As it is called, your serving woman may sit while we talk. I'm the help. She's the boss. You're not Charles. My name is Antea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McGrath. Good day to you, sirs, madam. Now, where's Charles? Minister Davenport said help was on its way. I assume. Keep digging, Fairfax. Good day. Pennington, captain of the train band. This here is thick-skinned Newsmith. We're the selectmen. <laughs> What's left of us? Why is Charles not here? We're sorry for your loss. We'll do what we can for his widow. The Reverend is dead. When? How? A terrible tragedy. Though our faith sustains us, we are still very much in shock. Our shock at Reverend Davenport's killing is so great that we must sit here in comfort, losing precious time. As governor of the colony of New Eden, it is my responsibility. Oh, look at us, sat here waiting to meet the same fate. We could all be miles away by now. You lot do what you want. I intend living. The esteemed select woman can be <coughs> brusque. Forgive her, and rest assured that her aptitudes far outweigh her manners, or lack thereof. Her point still stands, Fairfax. Sitting here, doing nothing, we are as lambs to the slaughter. The banishers are here. Surely, with their expertise, we may yet prevail. Then I shall leave you in your expertise in ghosts and devils to find out. My expertise in blood and battle is of little use. Mistress Duarte, if I can be of service, you may visit me at home. On the other side of the street, as it were. Well, Governor, shall you leave or shall you stay? For myself, I'll stay. <clears throat> Our company has suffered terribly. But we are worth saving. Now that you are here, save it we shall. Please, accept my sincerest condolences for the loss of your friend. We feel the loss of our minister so very keenly. Charles Davenport was a man of great knowledge and devotion. The pride, indeed, of New Eden. It discommodes me greatly to remember how he found his body in the cemetery. Indeed, it distresses me yet further to tell you that we do not know what so tragically cost him his life. What do you think happened? I could guess to little use. 
It is evident, however, that Charles's unexpected death is linked to his investigation of the curse. In the minister's absence, I try, in all humility, to protect us all, body and soul, from our ongoing peril. You see, in my youth, I too was something of a demonologist. Rather a good one, if I say so myself. We're not demonologists, and neither was Charles. Is his widow Esther taking visitors? The widow Davenport is at home, and does not much venture out. Her house overlooks the dock. I offered Charles a home with a view across a pretty meadow, but he refused. He preferred the village life. Speak to her, if she'll see you. But she knows no more than we do about how her husband died. What can you tell me about the curse? I can tell you that it has been our misery for many long months now. And I can tell you that it worsens by the increment. First, there was pestilence and disease. Then came the nightmares. Then came madness. In the end came death. And death remains. But in all honesty, <laughs> I think the weather is the worst part. This never-ending winter hangs heavy on us all. Worse yet, it traps us here. What do you think caused the curse? In my humble opinion, I'll point to the obvious. The abyss disgorges its spawn upon New Eden, bent on making God's poor creatures suffer. As to the nature of the demon, that's what we're paying you to find out. Our late friend Charles faced a Herculean task and acquitted himself with honor. You will have to do far better than that, I'm afraid. Our contract stands. If you'll have it, yes. Our contract stands for Charles. All right, for Charles. Why is town so empty? Of those who did not die, we are the few who stayed. Though our motivations may differ, all who remain have shown extraordinary faith and courage in the face of our adversity. Those who left, where did they go? Boston, outlying settlements, anywhere, everywhere. Although, as you may have heard, the weather has likely closed the roads. Some believe the pass through the dark woods offers salvation. I do not. I believe we must stand our ground. Will they return when the curse is lifted? I fervently hope so. They have homes here. But we sent the children away some time ago, and many could not live with their absence. If we do not resolve this situation quickly, the community of New Eden shall be broken, perhaps forever. You're a demonologist, you say? I am that, like my father was before me. Faith and science are our twin compasses, you see, to a deeper understanding of the secrets of God's green and pleasant land, and those who threaten it. And what have your compasses told you about the curse? They have told me... They have told me that Reverend Davenport was better placed than I to solve our problem, which is why you're here. We agreed it. I shall stand for the company, I said as the moral authority, the anchor, and the rock, as Charles and his banishers lift the curse. Heroic work all round. Indeed it is, madam. Indeed it is. But we do it all the same. Because we must. Right. Because we must. Thank you. We have what we need. Then I wish you success. 
By my instruction, a room is prepared for you in the old schoolhouse. I'll be here if you need me. Damn it, Charles. Those accursed sea stones. If only we'd been here earlier. No, no. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people have no idea what they're up against. slept for fear you would not come. I'm at a loss. Would God even allow me to drag you into these... these dark times? Esther, you're not alone now. We're here. I'm so sorry we didn't get here on time. Truly. I know. Charles kept saying it. Have faith. They will come. If only he had kept his faith himself. What happened to him? Poor Charles. Just one more victim of the curse of New Eden. You know how he is. Was. Restless. Impatient. It's not that he gave up on you, his friends. But that he could wait no more. I believe he tried to lift the curse. I too have questions, but I have no answers. Nor do I now have a husband. Is there anything we should know about? Lord, deliver me, for I cannot endure this. I cannot endure it, and Charles does not deserve it. Anything at all, Esther. Please. I have felt Charles present about the house. His ghost lingers. He needs help. If he's here, I promise I will know no rest until he has his. You can count on us. We'll start with the house. Charles's papers are gathered in his office. Take what you need. Thank you, Esther. How were things, you know, before all this? Before the curse? It was a busy and exciting time. Charles immersed himself in the community here. He had a hand in everything. The people came to rely on him. I'm sure they look to someone else now, but I can't imagine it's the same. What can you tell me about the esteemed Governor Haskell? Fairfax Haskell is well-read and educated, but at times his back can be too stiff. He shares Charles's interest in the unknown, but his passion seems less than practical. He is an academic. Still, good to know our patron has some understanding of our work. We met the captain, too, along with the huntress, Thickskin. Do you know them? I find thick-skinned Newsmith's manner a little frightening, but I think she has a good heart. A fine hunter by all accounts. Captain Pennington comes with a reputation for soldiering. He comports himself with a wry dignity, but I suspect that beneath it all, he's just... sad. Charles thought so too. There are wounds beneath Saul Pennington's armor, he said that time and God have not yet healed. We'll take a look around, if that's all right.
May I be of any help? Mm, you stay put. We'll find the way. Charles is still here and Esther is completely distraught. She lost him and now he's back, a ghastly figure. It must be unbearable. Remember when he started to wear these, to look wiser and older? <laughs> he was hiding his hair loss. Faith always was his beacon in the darkness. In people as much as in God. He's a good man. I can still picture him crafting your very first Bane ring. You sound much more fond of the moment now than you were back then. Bit green for an actual haunting, you said. <laughs> you were. Still, you did all right. That's from the set he taught me with. I'd know it anywhere. Did he keep it to remind them of his favorite? Or to remind him that he had yet to beat me? Charles's notes mention Job, chapter 7, verses 13 to 15. I'll look for that reference. Red, you dropped something. Mm hmm. These notes are erratic ramblings. Charles was worried about the curse plaguing the settlers' dreams. How malicious is this curse tormenting people in their beds? Charles always wore this brooch. His things are untouched. Nothing's moved. Got enough books, Charles. I oh, should have known you wouldn't travel without them. Esther couldn't attend Charles's burial. Poor woman. That's terrible for her. Esther never got to say farewell to Charles. I could have made him manifest. Now that we know why he might be back, we should go investigate the cemetery where he was found. Esther, I'm sorry to trouble you once more. How may I help? Has the curse brought with it nightmares? Yes. I've had nightmares. I suspect we all have. Charles warned that something was stalking our dreams. That it had a use for us. That we needed to fight it with all God's might. But... Now Charles is gone, and my nightmares have changed. In my sleep, I see my husband falling, screaming into the abyss. All hear him. None respond. He plummets on into the bottomless pit. Poor Charles. With all that's happened, how are you bearing up? This all feels so unreal. Just one more nightmare from which I cannot wake. It seems so now, but that will change. I promise. Was there something I should have done differently? Did I fail him? Did I fail Charles? None of this is your fault. I do not want to believe he is gone. He cannot be gone. I do not permit him to be gone. You're in pain, and that might have brought him back. 
Maybe he lingers because you suffer. We'll do what we can to ease your pain. And we'll do what we can for Charles. We must make our way to the cemetery. Please be careful, dear Antea. What will you do for my Charles? If he's present, we'll find him. Then we'll ask him what he wants us to do. Must I see him too? First, let's find out what happened. After that, we'll see. Best get started. Time may be against us. You'll be all right. I doubt it, but I'll do my work all the same. We came here to help Charles and help Charles with Charles. Ask around, see what people will tell you. I'll go to the cemetery and do the same. Be careful. Aye, you too. Close to town. Where are you leading me? More of you? I could beat you in my sleep. No one is safe here. here than I've met settlers. A memory lingers here. I might be able to reveal it. Seashore candle and pyrite will do the trick for the ritual. <coughs> Yeah. 
tried. In each stain hides a story. In the name of the Lord, I command you. Be gone from this place! You do not command me, clergyman. Who are you, ghost? Unveil yourself! Well, since you ask so politely... Who are you? I am everything you've ever feared! Be gone! You have no shell! No ties! No purpose! No. But neither do Damn it. That thing he faced. What was it? The tie that binds his ghost. With it, I can make him manifest. If I can find his grave. Ah, here you are. Now is a good time for we old friends to talk. We've come too far, Red and I not to see you one last time. Your pupil has become the master. If we fight, I'll beat you. Come on, Charles. Join me now. I know you're here. I know you're here. You know me, ghost. I only wish to talk. Esther worries. Until... here... at last. Oh, poor Esther. I'm so sorry, my friend. So sorry for us all. What happened? What's going on here? Sad to say, dear friend. I made a mistake. And it cost me my life. Is Red with you? There is no time to waste.
Before you died, you investigated the curse. What did you learn? That our enemy is deceptive and merciless. That we should not underestimate its power. We? I am dead, dearest Dante. But I am a banisher yet. I may still teach you. If I allow you, which I do not. Antea, do not repeat my mistakes. If a nightmare curses New Eden, you need all the help you can get. Its presence felt strongest in the meeting house. Perhaps the light of God there forced it to fight its ground. I had the building closed. The worst of the malevolence is contained. But it won't stay locked up for long. How did this nightmare kill you? I believed that I could come to the cemetery and make it manifest. To my initial delight, it worked. I now suspect it came by choice. It seemed amused, as if it were a pleasant game to weigh my measure as a man. What did it look like? I... don't know. When it manifested, it appeared as... Esther. My dear Esther, I did not see its true face, but I heard a woman. Not Esther, someone else. She was laughing. I felt her gaze. My heart froze. I died. The spirit is vengeance pure. The ghost of one who was terribly wronged. I've heard your warning. You can go. No. I must remain. Esther needs my protection. My flock needs me too. You know how this works. You know I won't allow that. I am still myself, Antea. With time, I'll grow stronger. I can help you. The longer you haunt Esther, the hungrier you'll be. You know this. This is different. I'm the Reverend Charles Davenport, your friend and mentor. You know me. You know I am a good man. I knew you. You were a good man. Now you are a ghost, and I cannot let that stand. But I swear it, the nightmare will end, and Red and I shall do the ending. Charles Davenport was a good man, and a fine mentor. And you a fine student, though you took a hard line. I never could unpick that from your character. Has life tempered you since? Life has tempered my steel. Death and the manner of it has made you the very thing you once opposed. Goodbye, Charles. Peace on your soul. Remembrance on you. Antea, wait! Wait for what? We're banishers. Death to the dead. Let Esther choose this. Oh Lord, please don't ask me to do that. Esther, my good wife, and the very best. I miss you so. Oh dear Lord, Charles, why are you here? Why have you come back? You must leave, please. I must stay. I must protect you. The thing in the meeting house feeds on our torment. I should have known better. I know better now. Antia, give Charlie the ascent he deserves. Charles Davenport, you have no reason to stay. Go. Let Esther grieve in peace. Save her, my friends. And save yourselves. Save them all.
I'll walk Esther home. I'll do it. The women can talk. Uh, then, all the way to the schoolhouse and make the bed. Charles is at rest now. And Taya, she gave him the care he needed. My Charles, where do you think he is now? He's... Uh, I don't know. I miss the warmth of his hands. His calm presence in our house. If I close my eyes, I can picture him. He's in a place where sunlight chases the snow away. It is warm and there is fresh milk. The sheets are cleaned and pressed and folded. Nothing can ever be the matter. You're right. He's at peace. And you deserve to rest. I'm sorry. I'll miss him. Dearly, tomorrow we'll continue investigating the curse. Good night, Esther. I am glad you are here. Both of you. We need you. We did the right thing. Charles was our friend. I love you, Red McCraith. But? But when it comes to ghosts, your heart makes you reckless. It's dangerous. Were you really about to banish Charles? That wasn't Charles. That was the ghost of Charles. Charles Davenport. Our oldest friend, the man who brought us together. Our friend is dead. His ghost was a danger to his wife. Ghosts only bring misery, Red. Make no mistake, they steal life's essence from the living. Aye. They don't always do it out of malice. Than that. We are banishers. We end suffering for those who live. We bring closure to those who don't. A ghost may suffer too. A sin puts a gentler end to it. But not a safer one. Better to banish and be sure. Would you banish me? If it came to You'll not escape me so easy. You I would bring back from the dead. That's not funny. I'd fill you with fresh essence. 
I'd give you so much essence you'd return bloated with life. Steal essence from the living to feed my ghost, <laughs> you with me? You're a scruffy-headed lout, Red McGrath, and I will never let you go. Over my dead body, mister. I thought I was meant to be the soft-hearted one. <laughs> you are. I think Charles was right. This thing in the meeting house could be, a, how did he call it, a nightmare? I really hope not. Such entities are legendary ghosts, even for banishers. We'll see tomorrow. Now, to sleep. This was a dreadful day. Poor Charles. Poor Esther. For Esther. And Tia, she took her fire bean. She says I'm the reckless one. Where are you? You're hardly in the meeting now, sorry. Who's there? And there? Why would you go up there alone? I'm hoping. And there? I suppose you specters. You're the boss and all, but you could have included me. There? Blind. All blind. Oh, Red, can't you see? We never stood a chance. And there? Are you hurt? Where are you? I'm here, my love. What happened? I'm here, my love. How mundane. Show yourself! God came to the man in a dream and said, Behold, thou art dead. But the man had done nothing wrong and said, Lord, wilt thou also slay the righteous? What? Will you slay the righteous? Be not alarmed. I bring you aid. There is no aid. 
There is only dereliction. Where's Antea? What have you done with her? That was Paul's. Lady, if you hurt her... You cling to love, the fool to the last. There is no love. There is only defilement. If you laid a finger on her... You're what? Come to her aid? Uh, there is no aid. There is uh, only... Uh, retribution. Give him back. How touching. You come to claim your man. You think you love him. You do not. There, in the dark of your manner, there is no love. Only betrayal. I offer you a trade. He stays and you leave with your life. I'll bargain with no ghost. You have a brain, yet you think with your idiot heart. You're weak. to her aid now when all is lost. If you do, I'll be waiting. The icy ocean made a diamond from his grief, then buried it in his heart. The weight of his failure dragged him down. Outside time, drowning in the gloom, he spoke her name. Take me instead, he screamed, soundless, to the cold and silent waters. Out beyond the black veil of death, something heard his cries and reached for him. Let her go. Take me instead. Let her go!
Ah, you're awake. Who are you? She who rescued you. Tended you for days on end. Weeks, maybe. Weeks? Oh, God. What have I done? Get your strength back before you beat yourself up. She's dead. Yes. It's why you're here. And why I was sent to look after you. Who are you? I feel like we've met, but I'm sure we have not. I feel like I know you forever, but do I? You're confused. It's normal. You've been near killed by a nightmare, you've lost your beloved, and now you've a witch by your sickbed. Witch? Witch. I go by Seeker. Find the Banisher, said my mistress. Tend him, and answer any questions he asks you before you leave him be. So, how do you feel? Does it matter? <sighs> of course it matters. It means you're alive, and you haven't given up. What am I to do now? How do I... How do I do it alone? You're not alone. Have faith. If Ceridian had told me more, I'd tell you it. But you must have faith. This isn't what I want. Not like this. Not without her. No one gets what they want. You get what comes. And if you survive, you get changed by it. You have a hole in you. A yawning, grimacing pit in your soul. That's love, that is. The hole won't fill because the love won't die. God, what have I done? Here's the thing. Unlike most, you get a second chance. I suggest you seize it. Why'd you pull me from the water? What's your business with me? I have no business with you, but my mistress does. Ceridian says the wall between the living and the dead is under threat. You, it seems, have a part to play. This is mine. You've lost me. No, I found you. But so did your grief. And it demands to be felt. You may think you're done with your ghosts, Red McCraith. But they aren't done with you. I'll go now. Rest. Why ever my mistress saved you, she has good reasons. The best. Where are you going? Oh, to Ceridian. She needs me. Where shall I find you if... or when I need to? Maya marshes. Great big swamps other side of the woods. You can't miss them. We'll know when you're coming. Until we meet again, then. That's right, Banisher. Now, turn around. What? I'm leaving.
Damn it. What am I doing here? Am I the last bloody living soul here? This isn't happening. This can't be happening. Antea! Call me to you! Where am I? Where am I? Mother. Mother, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry!
I'm here. Lead me to you. Right here, my love, right here. Tis you. I have you. You have me. Come. No, don't go. I'm here. Follow me. Where are you going? Over here. I have you. I'm right here. Where are you? Do not be troubled. How could I not be? To have lost you and found you like this. And you're hungry. That's one way to say it. Yes. What can I do? Charles's Bible, the tie that bound his ghost. Some essence remains upon it. For now, it will do me. Look at you. At us. I know. Don't get me wrong. I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you're back. Truly. The living should not truck with the dead. 
I've known that since childhood. I learned the hard way. You never told me this. What happened? It was a lifetime ago. For now, it doesn't matter. Are you still hungry? I'm hollow. As if I were filled with emptiness. So the essence Charles left on his Bible was useless. Consuming his tie did make me feel better. But I'll need more. Much more. We should talk about what happened. After the meeting house, I mean. What do you remember from after you died? I remember the suddenness of my death. I remember nothing but... After that, a nothingness. Timeless. Lost. And then I heard you. You spoke my name. I searched for a way back. I woke up in a cave. Been rescued by a young woman named Sika. A witch's apprentice. She was proud to tell me that. Her mistress had sent her to take care of me. Witches rarely show themselves. Intriguing that one would help us. I think we should go back to New Eden Town. I agree. To free me, I believe we must reclaim my body. I refuse to be this way. I'll not abide it. I'm so sorry, my love. How can I help? I'm a ghost. You're a banisher. I'll not banish you. I cannot and tear. So you die. You can't ask that of me. If that's what I wanted, you'd have no choice. But you don't wish it, do you? Not before I've had my revenge. Not before I've seen the nightmare defeated by you and me both. In the schoolhouse, he joked about bringing me back to life. Is that possible? Yes. The ritual of lesser palingenesis. It's extremely difficult. Highly dangerous. I could try, right? You'd teach me and I'd bring you back. Red, it's an ancient ritual. It requires power. It consumes essence in large quantities. We're talking about human sacrifice. Murder. Just maybe. We could consider it. I mean, if there's the slightest chance I could bring you back, I'd take it. It's a dark ritual, Red. It's tempting, and that's dangerous. To think of being back in your arms. I'm tempted too. Could I give you your assent? That would be the simplest solution, but not the easiest. Why? My body is my tie, and the nightmare still holds it. In the meeting house, but before she let me fall, I swear she dared me to come back. She's as devious as she is powerful. She won't just hand it over. Then what shall we do? If we are to return to New Eden Town, we must first learn more about our enemy. Charles said nightmares don't appear without good reason. Yes. We have a mystery to solve. Witches to meet. People to find and questions to ask. And then you'll help me go. One way or another. I will. I swear it, my love. Rest. You need it. I'll stay close.
On to New Eden, whichever way it lies. We'll need provisions, going for the basics. We'll manage, together. What the hell happened here? Well, if you're gonna play with salt circles, you better get them right, lad. See no bodies. Maybe the wolves took him. Can you not see the symbols on the wall? No. Take my hand. I want to try something. Oh. Is that possible through our bane rings? They allow us to connect the invisible and the incarnate. Through this bond. What I see, I bestow on you. Are those webs made of spectral stains? Let me. All these years, the things we must have missed. The dead hide more from the living than we thought. This is going to be helpful. Did you feel that? It's close. Fight them together. We did it. We did. Thank you. I wasn't much use. You were. I promise. You get better. Things will get better. Standing by. They always end up mucking around with blind magic. Always.
That Spectre. It's heading for that corpse. I get to the corpse. I can help. The whole region's crawling the specters. It's not just New Eden Town. What happened here for the veil to be so thin? War? Invasion or colonization of a land that's vulnerable to haunting. Hunting gear. There might be a lodge nearby. You took yourself up there very fast. That might take some good... Antea, will people be able to tell I'm haunted? Perhaps, if they had talent or training. What if someone sees you? Unlikely. If they had talent or training, they wouldn't have needed us banishers. These witches you mentioned must know something about the nightmare. Aye, but can we trust them? Well, witches only involve themselves with people if they absolutely have to. Yours must have good reason. I think I see a crossing. Over there. Signs of civilization. Lucky me. Nice place. Wolves and spectres aside. Don't you have wolves and spectres in the highlands? Aye, but I was of the courtesy of letting me catch my breath between fights. Bad news. The bridge is out. Then we'll find another road to New Eden. Strange. I see stains, but not the usual kind. There's a pattern to them. Don't you see it? It calls to me. I have strong ankles, but at this height, I'm not gonna make it. And up and down we go. Those stains. I could have grasped at them had I been stronger. It's hard to think clearly. The hunger is back and it's growing fast. Already? Right, let's find something to sustain you.
There's someone inside. Someone tainted. Ben, you're back. Beg pardon. Thought you were someone else. You hungry, friend? The stew is thin enough, but I'd be glad to share. Kind of you to offer, lad. But no, thank you. Been a while since I've seen another human's face. You come from camp? You a hunter? Of sorts. Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. Like in the stories. Jacob Lind. I'm a trapper. <laughs> That's a real job. Who's Ben? Another trapper? Hi, the best of them. Taught me all I know. He's out now, but he'll be back. Where has he gone? The bridge is down. As down as down can be. Can't cross. Bad things lurk in the shadows. They sent flesh. Game's low. Game's low and Ben's gone. He'll find game, he will. I know it. Where did you meet Ben? We found each other. Brothers in spirit, he said. He's been good to me. Too good. Why? He's important to you. I? And me to him. What lurks in the shadows? Is that what keeps you here? That... and the fog. Can't hunt if you can't see. Ben shoots better than me. Knows the woods better too. I'd only slow him. Only slow him. He's lost his nerve. Or a ghost has taken it from him. What are you doing here? How do you know we're safer? The woods are kind to them as knows them. We hunt here. When we get pelts and meat, we trade in New Eden. But game's been scarce. We've not to trade, so we wait. When even the wolves are starving, you know it's going to be a bad winter. How long have you been out here alone? I don't know. I lose track. And I'm not alone. God is with me in the scriptures. Would you like me to read to you? Another time, perhaps. You're exhausted. And surprising given how tainted are these woods. Are you sleeping? I don't like sleeping. I see things. Bright eyes in the leaves. What does tainted mean? Marked by ghosts. Haunted. Tell me of your nightmares. One nightmare. Always the same one. Ben has it too. Would you care to share them? No. No. It is a nightmare. Nothing more. Get some rest, Jacob. You need it. If you see Ben, tell him I'm thinking of him. Tall lad, even when he's lying down. Can't miss him. Poor child. He's shrouded in spectral stains. Your meat's turning, friend. Food is scarce. We might do. 
He's not fussy. His meat is crawling. Your meat's turning, friend. Food is scarce. We might do. He's not fussy. His meat is crawling. Do you sleep here, Jacob? Ben sleeps here. I don't sleep. Whatever haunts the boy spawns maggots. We should talk to this Ben fellow. Ben's things. Most of them. Not the rope. You can have it if you want. Kind of you. Thank you. Ben went out without a gun. We're trappers, not hunters. We had the gun for safety, but it got damp. Done work. He's so confused, I doubt he knows what year it is. What happened to him? Maybe his mate abandoned him. Quick mist. Spun by a ghost after a violent death. Anisher row number eight. Don't get lost in quick mist, lest the spectres get you. Wise, but I see no other way. Either Ben was lost in the mist, or he's the source of it. Well, I do love a drop into the deep unknown. Can't see further than the end of my arm down there. Don't worry, it'll affect your other senses too. <clears throat> oh, this quick mist is thicker than a Scotch dragoon. It smells almost as bad. I see fine. Wait. That's, that's better. And a little terrifying. Do you see that? It looks like the fog is coming from those odd-looking stalagmites. Hold on. I think I can rid us of the quick mist. Oh. Well, I'm partly made of the same stuff. Find what caused it. You mean, let's find out who died. Mm, traces of a struggle. An echo hangs on it. Scale Foga Smile. I can't, I can't do it no more. On your feet, Lind. We don't no. give up. I've had enough. There's no way up. There's no way down. For days we've eaten nothing but boiled shoe leather. I'm done. 
We don't give up. <sighs> Leave me be. God be damned, I'm sick of carrying you! What is she doing? Don't hurt me! I hate you. I hate you! Ben died in the fall. And now his maggoty ghost is back to haunt the friend who pushed him. Jacob delusional. Did he really forget what he did? Maybe his guilt got the better of his reason. We need to find the body, if the wolves haven't gotten there first. here. has been torn to pieces. No, wait. He's been carved with a knife. For his meat. Still no tie. A Jacob's hovel, perhaps? Jacob was eating meat. Jacob was eating Ben. really hungry enough to eat his friend. Maybe the nightmare had something to do with it. Hugging all the fun. There's a tough one. Let's look for our tie while Jacob's outside. Oh, 
Poor lad. His food is the meat of the matter. I tell you, that's horrible. Never heard a worse pun. I like it. I think I found our tie. How did I not notice it before? There were so many spectral stains, it's a wonder we found it at all. Come on, let's talk to Ben. I should order the ghost to appear now. You're not Jacob. Who's you? My name is Red McRaith. The Scot. You? Antea Duarte. We're banishers. We can help you. I'm beyond help. Where's Jacob? We know what befell you, Benedict. What keeps you here? He does. He waits and waits and waits on me. He'll not face what he has done, and I cannot go. I cannot go. But I'll not hate him. How could I? We thought him lost, in mind and reason. Who would not lose their mind? Stuck in place for weeks on end, deprived of a living, deprived of a life. Though I denied it, I saw it coming. I became... wary. Some part of me knew what he was thinking, because I was thinking it too. What do you want from Jacob? Do you seek revenge? I seek no vengeance. He is I, and I am him. Why do you not confront him? Why not show yourself? I did. He thought me alive. He showed me stake he'd scavenged. He was so proud. He offered me a share. He needs to face the truth. To accept what he has done to both of us. At night, he'd read scripture. God would mind us if we were good and honest. Jacob taught me that. We were good. We lived honest lives. We kept to ourselves, minded our business, and no one else's. So tell me, banisher. What did we do to deserve this? I'm sorry. Despair can drive a good man to a bad place. God only visits hardship upon us because he knows we can bear it. You tried many times to leave this place. I tried and failed. Week on week, month on month maybe, we went in circles. The woods are tricky, sir. Treacherous. Mean. Round and round we went. Round and round and back again. Jacob said you both had nightmares. The same nightmare. Aye. And yet we got no sleep. Couldn't tell truth from fantasy. The shadows seemed to flicker at the corners of our eyes. How long have you and Jacob been out here in the woods? Some winters now, but this one, it never ends. No way out, no way in. We were alone, not an animal in sight. No, when things changed. We got stuck. 
these godforsaken woods. Thank you, Benedict. Perhaps we'll talk again. Perhaps we shall, Banisher. Perhaps we shall. Jacob must confess. I fear the truth will break him. Oh, there to you, Jacob. Mr. McCraith, sir? I'm sorry, Jacob, we must talk. Something has happened to Benedict. What? Where is he? What happened? Come on now, Jacob. If something's happened to Ben, say so. Where is he? Benedict is in pain. For his sake, you need to remember what happened. You need to remember what you did. But I... No. I would never. I couldn't hurt him. I love him. Jacob, look at me. It's safe to remember. Now tell me, what happened on that cliff top? I was tired. So tired. Hunger was digging holes in me, burning in my throat. I could think of nothing else. We don't give up. We don't give in. But I wanted to. I wanted it all to stop. So you made it stop. Do you remember now? I failed him. I failed Benedict. I was so angry, so angry. He kept pushing me. We kept, we argued, and I couldn't think. When I saw him lying there on the ground, lifeless, the whisper said, it was him or me. Him or me. I would have died. I should have died. For my sins, I deserve no better. I failed God. I failed my friend. I'm a monster. I deserve no mercy. No. You're just a sinner, begging for help. We both faced a choice, simple and awful, to kill or to die. You struck first and here we are. Do you forgive me? Our fates are in the hands of others now. Yes. Banisher, do your job. If you're to come back, if we're to use the ritual we spoke of, this is when it starts. Red. If we take one step along that path... Jacob is ready to die. The others won't be. We'll tell lies. We'll harvest the essence of the living. I'll shoulder the blame. As the man says, we face a choice, simple and awful. Do we kill? To be together again? Or do we part forever? We must decide now.
Benedict Stoughton. In the face of life's inexplicable hardships, at times to stay alive we must do terrible things. In his despair, your best friend stole your life. Then he compounded his sin. He fed on your flesh. Confessing his sins, he offered to forfeit his life. He has told the truth. You may go in peace. We were trapped. The snare was set to kill us slow. Jacob, my friend, my only friend. I forgive all. I forgive everything. It's over, Jacob. Ben's gone for good. Ben's been gone a long time. I know that now. I need to give him his last right. Please. I need to be alone. It's over. The tie will sustain me a little longer. Jacob, would you mind if I rest inside a while? Suit yourself. No more maggots. Ben is gone for good. When I was a soldier, I heard many stories of those besieged eating their own. Some were true. Famine is a ferocious master. Jacob was hungry. Yeah, just like you. Just like me. How do you feel? I feel trapped. Locked into an embrace with a nightmare. I crave. I crave essence. With it, I'd not so fast decay. With it, I'd not so quickly become one of those stupid, bloody spectres. We made the right choice. We made it together. Taking a life is no small matter. When I ascend, we'll be separated. For the rest of your life. Maybe for the rest of eternity. Never again shall we stand side by side. This we, this thing we have, shall cease to be. That settled. Thank you. I hope you've no regrets. Soon I'll reclaim my life.
We will pay the highest of prices. We banishers may call it blaming, but our hearts will know we're taking lives. How many? I don't know. Perhaps too many to ask of you. I want us back, Red. I want revenge on what killed me. I want to live. I want it too. With the whole of my heart. No price too high. I will do it. By my oath, I swear it, my love. I'll see you back from the dead. Let's go back to the bridge. I feel stronger. Let's see if I was right about those spectral stains. will help. Can you find the place where the stains align? That jump was quite something. Ghosts are quite something. But I feel clumsy. I have no idea what I'm doing. You'll master it. You've mastered everything else. No way through here neither, as far as I can see. needs to be cleansed. I summon you now!
You're losing your edge. Reveal your true self. I brought more flesh. Can I join in too? Just me, you. I felt it too. There are stains. If they line up, perhaps we can jump. I'm sure you can. Just try to be gentle this time. Here. That's high. Trust me. Not quite the right alignment. <sighs> yes. Remind me to close my eyes next time. Rope trap. 
Jacob Lind mentioned the hunter's camp. It may be close. Something's there. Something alive. Yes. Who are you, and where did you spring from? I've come from New Eden Town. That's a very long way from here, sir. Who are you? My name is Red McCraith. I work for the selectmen of New Eden Town. I'm a banisher. Didn't you and the other one die in the meeting house? I fell in the water. And the tide took me. I survived. Up to now, anyway. I've never seen a banisher before. I expected more. Could I please continue this conversation with my feet on the ground? Be easy now. Stop your jiggling. Hold still, I said. Do you try holding still when some lassie's shooting at you? In that oh. case, Banisher, you may escape the trap yourself. Wait, what? No, no, come on! Our camp lies downhill. I'll wait for you there. Come back here. Shit! I don't suppose you can help me, can you? That was entertaining. Good to see you smile. Wait. Something's there. Something alive. No. Hit harder than that. This place is empty so long it's rotting. Signs of life ahead. Oh, 
Call on me. This must be the camp the rope lady talked about. Doesn't look like much from here. Who was she anyway? Some species of huntress. She took no liking to you. Hard times like these, fewer folk will help a stranger. We did good against those bone walkers. You did good. Strange to see the dead from this side. They're both oddly familiar, and a thousand times more ghastly. Fortifications. Grim face is not a good sign. So rest and restock, then onwards to New Eden Town. a word with you. So, you found us safely, Red McWraith. Aye. Well, thanks to you. I had to know you could look out for yourself. You're welcome to stay until you're told to leave. I'm Kate Newsmith. Far as you're concerned, I'm in charge round here. Uh, Newsmith? Anything to thick skin? Aye. We're sisters. Me and Antea, we met her in town when we first landed. Thickskin will return from the hunt soon enough. Sorry for your loss, by the by. Why might you tell me to leave? He who don't pitch in pitches out. We'll not go hungry to feed him that don't contribute. Hungry? Child, you have no idea. All right, I'll stay a while. I have certain skills, if they may be of use. Our hearts are low. Nightmares plague our sleep. Do what needs doing, help who needs help in. Well, give me some names. Prudence Hake. A widow, like so many. She cooks. Lately she's cooked shite. He who puts the food aright is a hero indeed. How fares New Eden Town? I'm heading back that way. You're mad. There's no going back. There's not to go back to. We may be all that's left. New Eden Town now is naught but sorrow, pestilence and death. Some of our band were homesick. We heard them screaming in the woods. They didn't come back. Something wicked prowls. Folk dream of a murderous beast that'll kill them if they dare to leave camp. There was a second group. They never arrived. Some think the beast got them. Like I say, we may be all that's left. Guilt. Dread. She puts a brave face on it, but the truth is in her eyes. I'll make the rounds. I'll pay my respects to Widow Hake and see what's the bar. If you can't find Prudence, ask Jane. They're close. Also, please check on our blacksmith. His already meagre skills have lately declined. Talk to Jane, talk to Prudence, check the forge. Talk to anyone who needs help, which is probably everyone. Right, got it? One empty cabin remains. A tree fell on it. But you may have what's left. Welcome to the dark woods. In your forays into the woods, have you seen many bone walkers? What the hell's a bone walker? Corpses possessed by malignant spirits. The dead walking. You'd know if you'd seen one. God spare us. Have you? Of course not. Standard question. I have to ask it. Bone walkers seem drawn to us, but not them. 
Is it you? Is it me? We both? Can I ask you, what do you know about the nightmare? I have bad dreams, aye. The worst kind. We all do. A nightmare is what we banishers call the creature in the meeting house. It's a breed of ghost. A bad one. Aren't they all? Town was doomed. My sister knew it. After... Well, after your mishap, it was time for us to go. Your bad dreams. Care to share? Might be the hunger. Might be the fear. But we all seem to dream the same dream. A beast. A wolf, but not a wolf. Larger, stranger. It howls and hunts from the shadows. Intriguing indeed. But still, just a dream. Is it? Thick skin apart. Those who leave don't come back. Some blame the beast. We stay close to camp now. Tell me about this beast. Though we've heard it howl, none have seen it. We've heard screaming too, and those who've travelled on have not returned alive. We hope against hope that they've found their way to Boston, as we must, if we're not to starve. But our dreams say they did not. There's really no way out. We can live here, on the edge of starvation, keeping our cheer as best we can. Or we can die in the woods, prey to a drooling beast. We choose to live. I must ask you about the camp. Ask? Where's your sister? Out, making the rounds. Hunting if she finds game. One new smith stays while the other new smith goes. She goes out alone? She's thrice the hunter anyone else is here. We'd only slow her down, she says. Have you been here long? Huh. Not one of us knows for sure. Time here flies for some. For others it stands still. There's no night, so counting days is difficult. What would Thick Skin say? <laughs> She'd say, about a month. She'd be lying. We both counted days, but the numbers didn't tally. I gave up. The nightmare twists the perception of the passage of time. These folk have not escaped the curse. Who about the place needs help, do you think? Something's not right at the forge. You could start there. I'll take my leave of you for now. Rest. You'll need it for my sister's return. I'll send for you. She seems to like me. Let's find your cabin and see how much. I've slept in worse. And it smells better than Jacob Lynn's lean-to. Poor lad. I wonder where he'll go. There. Now we won't freeze. I won't freeze. Right. Let's go make ourselves useful. If the Nightmare is at work here, they'll need us. The Forge. Kate said the blacksmith may need help. 
These nails look brittle. These nails look brittle. Ghostly voices. They... What is it? Salt water. It's pulsing. There's something here. Sounds nasty. That ghost sounds obsessed. That drill bit is dull as a hammer. Metalworking isn't easy, but this stuff is surprisingly shite. Can't be easy to maintain a camp with a bad blacksmith. What kind of forge has no tools? Startled. Oh well, ain't you a sight? Who are you then? Red McCraith, ma'am, the banisher. To whom do I owe the pleasure? Oh, the Scotsman. I like your accent, and I like your manner too. Nelly, Nelly Heaton. A friendly Londoner. I like her already. To the point, madam. Kate Newsmith worries for you, and for your husband, too. He around? Fortune left some hours ago, and hasn't come back. I confess I'm beginning to worry. What if the beast got him? Did he not say where he was going? Thick skin has him making nails for the stockade. She presses him, and he feels the weight of it. Could he have gone out in search of material? Doubtful. He's exhausted. He doesn't sleep. He works day and night. It wasn't always so. Coming to New Eden saved us. It saved the marriage. I should go look for your husband. He's no woodsman, so he can't have gone far. Please, do find him. I didn't come this far only to lose him now. Can I have a look around your house? Yes, if it helps. The forge is empty, no tools. Any idea why? No tools? That's strange. Why would your husband take tools with him? Why would he take all the tools with him? I don't know. Here's the thing. In your forge, I, I found a puddle of salt water. Any idea how it got there? The forge uses a lot of water, but that doesn't explain the salt. It had the mark of a ghost. What think you of that? A ghost? My lord, is my fortune in danger? Honestly, I don't know. I'm looking into it, I hope not. So, what's the chatter? Bad news travels faster than good. What would you like to know? How's life about the place? We're doing our best to make things work. The beast is worrisome, tis true. But thick skin knows what's what. I'm sure we'll be fine. What think you of thick skin new smith? She ain't perfect, that's for sure. But she's independent, fair-minded, strong in body as in character. She cares for us. I know it in my heart, even if she doesn't show it. Why else would she shield us from the beast? What can you tell me of Kate Newsmith? I like her. She's different from her sister. Sensible, watchful. When she speaks, I listen.
Thank you for your time, Mrs. Eaton. Welcome. I've enjoyed our chat. It's nice to have someone new to talk with. I have a feeling about the bed. Moments from the past are still here. Through a single point passes an infinity of paths. That's no ghost threatening Nanny. That's her husband. It seemed like he was fighting the urge to hurt her. So, the blacksmith has gone missing with his tools. And a saltwater ghost haunts the forge. Let's go find it. Footprints. Tackety boots with hobnailed soles. They're stained. I think I can uncover the traces. Let's see if the trail leads to our blacksmith. A moment. Well, that's handy. Imagine all those years hunting ghosts, how much time we could have saved. Come on, let's go find our blacksmith. Think of the blacksmith and his wife. A ghost haunts Fortune Heaton and his smithy too. Aye, but whose? all the time come out to safe uh, are they are they gone oh, thank you whoever you may be for whatever you have done I oh, thank you I thought I was done for 
Fortune Heaton, sir, and so very pleased that you came along. Red McCraith, the banisher. Weren't there two of you? There were, yes. As it happens, I've been looking for you. You have? Uh, what for? What are you doing out here, anyway? Do you not fear the prowling beast? Oh, I needed a walk. A bit of fresh air, a bit of light. Forge is... Well, it's dark and hot, isn't it? I didn't mean to be a worry. We all enjoy walking the woods while burdened down with smithing tools. Why did you bring your tools? Yeah, why did I bring my tools? Why? Uh, why? Because... Because they're wanted. That's why. I'm sorry, it's just... I'm losing my tiny little mind. And it's them godforsaken tools that's to blame. I start working with them, and then I look up, and half the day's gone, and I am somewhere else entirely, and <laughs> that's not even the worst of it. When I return to the forge, the work is done. The tools are haunted, and I'm getting rid of them, as deep in the woods as I can go. Did the haunted tools tell you to kill your wife? No. Yes. Maybe, no, I... I would never hurt her. Yes, they told me to hurt her. Maybe... Maybe I'd have hurt her. Can you help us? Yes. But I can't guarantee you'll like the result. I heard you praying. I thought I recognised the text. You did? You sure? Nelly painted him a pious Puritan. I thought he sounded Catholic. Oh, well, just coincidence? <sighs> Look, here's the truth. I'm a convert. I did it for Nelly. I am. Was Catholic. It was a convenience more than a calling. Keep it to yourself, please. I need to fit in around here. Not my business. I won't tell us all. <sighs> Thank you. That's twice I owe you. So, you're the blacksmith. What's that like then? Uh, it's all right, I suppose. You busy? Yes, of course I am. Lots of building work to be done. That means nails. Whole lot of nails, like an ocean of stupid bloody nails. I love when a man takes pride in his work. Head for camp. I'll take a look at the tools. Once they're safe, I'll follow. Yes, sir. Absolutely, sir. Thank you, Banisher. I'll... <sighs> Thank you. Ghost lays claim to the forge and everything in it. The flutter from the echo is missing from the toolbox. If it's not around here somewhere, he lied to us. I see the blacksmith has gone. Let's see where the back door leads.
Fortune the blacksmith came deep into the dangerous woods. They who are haunted do odd things. Maybe the ghost wanted him dead. The hammer. Looks like Fortune tried to get rid of it. The hammer is the ghost tie. Now to retrieve it without breaking my neck. Yes, that would be a shame. We need to look for somewhere to cross. I sense a trap. I sense an echo. All right then. Let's trigger the trap. Right. Good business. I can help. Ready and waiting. I knew it. That's enough, Nelly. I warned you. I warned you this would happen again. No. Oh, look at yourself. You're pathetic. I want a divorce! <laughs> You're no Elizabeth Luxford. You are mine. And I'd sooner see you dead and cold than let you leave. What's going on here? Walk away, lad. This does not concern you. I think it does. What do you want to do? Killed a man with his own hammer. We should talk to his ghost.
You may hide no more. are the Banishes Antea Duarte and Red McGrath. Whose ghost are you? <laughs> Do we really have to listen to this bastard? Nothing good ever comes of talking to the dead. At times I'm tempted to agree. Who are you and what do you want with the blacksmith? <sighs> my forge. My wife. My name, all mine. The bastard stole them. Is he telling us our blacksmith's a fraud? Why are you here? I want what's mine, stolen away, pried from my grasp. I want my work, my name, my wife. Your wife is not your property. Fortune's ghost is here. You should have said Let's something. end this now. I was afraid to worry you. No secrets, we said. We did. Because this only works if we're together. Right. Together. Do you think the Banisher knows? No. Though I'd not swear on it. He's no fool. I am no Puritan. He must know that at least. Mine, mine, all mine, all mine. You again. Piss off, Heaton, and no more scheming. Hush! Someone's coming. Banisher! You're back! Mr. McRae. My man came back, and I hear of you to thank for it. Don't celebrate just yet. I know the truth. Your secret is out. I don't know who you are, sir, but you're not Fortune Eaton. Don't be daft. Haskell hired the Puritan master blacksmith, Fortune Eaton. You're none of those things. You're not him. What do you want? I'd like your side of the story, madam. Very well. What? No. How do we know we can trust him? We don't. But we must take the chance. It's time. On the crossing from England, something happened. What was it? I'd had peace and quiet for weeks since we'd been on board. Fortune was too sick to do anything. I even made a friend. I thought to myself, maybe, maybe this new beginning will be good for us. Maybe you'll change. Before we left, I'd sworn he'd never lift a hand to me again. Well, guess what? We didn't plan on killing him. I swear on it. Do you regret it? Do you regret any of it? What would be the point? And if I did, what would be the point of telling you about it? I'd have escaped him in the end, but I'd have had to die to do it. I only killed him so he wouldn't kill me. The blame is on him, sir, not me. You're not Fortune Eaton. So, who are you? I am. <laughs> to hell with it. You're right, I'm no blacksmith. I, sir, am the fugitive thief Arthur Carty. But a good man. 
a repentant, hard-working man. If I am those things, it's because you've shown me it's all right. I'm doing my best to make a better life. Really, I am. What were you running from? Just the legal consequences of my illegal life. When you demanded a divorce, your husband threatened you. Was that the first time? It was the first time I'd asked for a divorce. It was not the first time he had raised his hands to me. I loved my husband once. <laughs> I thought he understood me. But Fortune was an angry man. He was angry, and I was in his line of sight. No matter who or what had upset him, the full force of his anger would fall on me. <laughs> Always on me. How did you two meet? <laughs> Funny story. Best you tell it, Nelly. On the crossing, Fortune was sick. He stayed below deck. When the weather allowed, I would take the air. One night, a voice came from the shadows. I should have run. But something in his tone told me he was kind. I was right. He is as kind as kind can be. We became friends. Dearest friends. Companions in murder. You sent me to find your husband, Mrs. Heaton. Find him I did. Your husband's corpse rots on the ocean floor. And his ghost has followed you here. I ripped myself of him once. What shall it take to do it a second time? Fortune Heaton. Dead as alive, you're an angry man. Time to go. I made her. She is mine. I built it all, and they took it from me. And now your work and your name shall pass to Arthur Carty while you enter oblivion. Nelly will run the forge, and a better version of Fortune Heaton will walk the world. I am Fortune Heaton. Ever was, and ever will be. Not anymore. Be gone. Be gone. Is it over? Is it done? Aye. He's gone. What will you tell the others? Will you expose us? Will I spill your secret to the camp? No, I won't. So? I've done my rounds, as you asked. And? The blacksmith and his wife were haunted by an angry ghost. It won't be coming back. I suppose I shall believe you. Anything else to report? Other hauntings are likely. I've no particulars as yet. All right. So, I'll thank you kindly, Mr. McWraith. You've done your part and earned your place. My sister should soon return. She'll surely want to meet you. Until then, you may stay. I'll take my leave. I do. This house here, look how stained it is. I wonder who's home. Oh, there inside. Anyone home? It's empty.
Something's pulsing here. Let me try something. This is unexpected. Is this house haunted by calculus? Someone scrubbed the walls. Our target must have seen the numbers. I didn't much like them. Three oaks, it says. Could be where our householder has gone. If they have, they've forgotten their map. Someone left in a hurry. Off hunting for flavor for the stew, I hope. Who goes into the wilderness to write letters? Our prudent sake lives here. She writes well, and she also seems to be out of her mind. As a cook, this prudent sake makes an excellent letter writer. She's resourceful. That's interesting. Let's go find these oak trees and this haunted, well-lettered cook. So you want a map? The map points us west. Do you wish to sail the seas, or perhaps to know which way is Boston? Or do you wish to travel west and claim more land that is not yours? I just want to walk in the woods without getting lost. I will teach you to draw your map. So, mark the camp as your starting point. Trace the path along it, and each landmark. This way. Do you hear a French woman? Aye, and she's taking no shine. Well, she is French. La prise pour qui? Je ne me laisserai pas faire. Closer. Easy, madam. I mean you no harm. Come no closer. Who are you? Why do you follow me? Red McCraith, at your service. The banisher who lived. <laughs> For what little good it brought. Are you Prudence Hake? What do you want? She's skittish. Why? Who were you talking to just now? What do you mean? Just now. Your voice was raised. You were speaking French. <laughs> That's ridiculous. Right. Fine. We're doing this then. 
You heard wrong. You won't get her to say it, but Prudence Hake is secretly French. What are you doing out here in the woods? I have an engagement with the Queen of Spain. What does it look like I'm doing? You've seen the camp. We are starving. A day without bread is long, and acorns make a good enough flour. I was sorry to hear of your husband's death. My Thomas was a happy man, whatever you may have heard. You've hit a sore spot. Press hard upon it. May I go now, Scotsman? I'll be plain, Mrs. Hake. I believe you need my help. I did not say I was, Prudence Hake. She's stubborn. I like that. I've seen the writing on your walls. You're haunted, are you not? I've had strange visitors, it's true. You, for example. Stay out of my house. I'm going home now. I mean it. Stay out. She denies what's happening to her. We'll need proof. More numbers. They look new. Yet more numbers. Let's follow the trail. Mrs. Hake seems suspicious to me. She was as suspicious of you as you are of her. What's a French woman doing here in New England in times of war? Hiding the fact that she's French, evidently. Godless! Faithless! Ooh, it doesn't like us snooping. Standing by. This is a cipher. Has Prudence Hake been sending encrypted messages? She reports the destruction of food rations arriving by sea in New Eden. That explains the burnt docks when we arrived. What now? More stains. Keep digging. Corpses. We could manifest what hides here. Present yourself!
Watch out. Spectre position. These are not threats. You're done. Change targets. Tormented first. More messages. <laughs> A vivid memory from the dead is somewhere near. <laughs> Thomas? You know I'll always love you, right? The closer you get, the more aggressive it becomes. Thomas found her Huguenot seal. I don't think he knew she was a French Protestant. She lied to him. He never knew the real her. Maybe he did, and that's what killed him. We should try to talk to him. <laughs> I think you could take on a ghost? Wait, we wish only to talk. Take your whispers and be gone. from the invisible. Look 
the ew unloved and godless silent worthless blood guilty fool forever never ending mercy by my loving kindness no i cannot <laughs> i will not prudence forgive me the silence is thomas thomas my god no what have you done stay please stay He took his own life. His were no ordinary nightmares. He died a gruesome death. No wonder he's still here. He is here. If we want to stop throwing that, this place will do. Red McCraith, sir. I'm trying to help your wife, Prudence. Whisper not to me, you devil. Must we do this every single time? You take the lead, then. All right, let's banish it. Be gone, devil! You'll not have her! When did the nightmares begin? No beginning, never ending. Let the whispers end forever. Let the whispers end. Let them end. Was there a face behind the voice? Or a dark figure floating over you, perhaps? Draining your life away? No, no, not but what we are. The creatures we all truly are buried in the darkness. Did you take a sleeping draught? A remedy, perhaps? Did Prudence give you something? Give? She gave me everything. I kept it, and I gave it back. Why the coded messages? What were you trying to say? The devil's whispers will come back. Forever she must flee. She must flee! Why would the whispers come for her too, Thomas? What aren't you telling us? Why are you here? Why aren't you running? Why isn't Prudence gone already? She'll listen if she hears it straight from you. Spoken plainly, mind you. No, no, not I. Not like this. Prudence is not who you thought she is, and yet you kept her secret. I know her. I love her. Even after she betrayed the colony, even knowing she lied to you. Perfect love cast death out fear, because fear hath torment. He that feareth is not made perfect in love. I promised to love her. A promise should be kept. You're killing her, Thomas. No. No, you're wrong. You're leeching the essence from her. She'll go insane, then she'll die. She needs me. She needs me. 
She needs me. He's lost his mind, and he's taken hers with it. He believes he keeps her safe. So we banish him, then she'll be safe. Whatever we do, Prudence has the right to know what's happening. We should tell her. Why the coded mess? The devil's whisper. Why would the whispers come? Why are she lit? No. Stay here. Maybe we can help. What are you doing here? Who exactly were you talking to? Who? Me? Just now you were talking to someone. Who was it? That's ridiculous. I'm alone here. Don't play with me, Banisher. Now tell me the truth. At the Siege of Vienna, we hanged wreckers. Mess with our grub, we'd gut you first. Aye. I found your secret code. You. You left those messages. What do you want? Not I. A ghost. And I'd like to know why. I don't know what trick you're playing here, but I don't like it. I'm leaving. Don't get in my way, Scotsman. Wherever you go, your ghost will follow. Leave me be. She's a bluffer, and she thinks you're bluffing too. We'll have to call her on it. I'm sorry, I must press you further on your husband. Thomas had bad dreams, did he not? I do not wish to talk about it, and I'm very good at not talking about things. He died a horrible death by all accounts. Forgive me, but that pain, that fear, it must linger. Of course it lingers. I loved him and he died. He's gone and I remain. Clarity can be painful. We resist it. Lay it out plain for her. I understand he suffered from terrible nightmares. Did you seek help? A physician, perhaps? Of course we did. Nobody helped. Nobody could help. Perhaps you wished for a banisher. Perhaps. But if wishes were horses, beggars would ride. I can tell you the truth. But can you accept it? You rarely sleep. You wake exhausted. You feel drained, but blame it on the grief of your loss and the fear of your exposure. What do you know of me and my life? I know you're a spy. And I know your husband loved you very much. He found your cipher. His ghost writes upon your walls. There is no ghost here. What are you up to? I'm doing my job. Nothing more. Your husband haunts you. I'm here to help you both. He thought I was a threat to you. He tried to chase me away. He loves you very much. Which is why he won't leave you alone. Is he here? Is, is Thomas here? He is. He wants you away from New Eden. Away from danger. I have work here. Important work. Your king doesn't give two shites for New Eden. The war is elsewhere and will go on with or without you. Prudence, Thomas, it's time. Thomas Hake, you met a tragic end. But, despite her lies, you lingered to protect the woman you love. My dearest Prudence. Will she be safe without me? Will she live in peace? She's heard your warning. Now let her go. Let her live her life her own way. Please, tell her. Her love was ever enough. She knows. You have been heard. You have no more reason to stay.
Was he here? What happened? What did you do to him? Thomas found peace. He wished you to know that your love was enough. Please. I need a moment. Alone. Rosard lost his mind. But his love held fast. I can relate to that. Kate came by. Thick skin is back and wants to see you. Why did she not wake me? Perhaps she resented playing the messenger. Perhaps she just wanted to make you late. She was vexed. Thick skin return has upset her. Kate reminds me of my sister. Aoife. Mm, Clan MacRaith's little spitfire. Always at my heels. Or giving father's guards all kinds of hell. <laughs> she was a wee thing. But strong. More big men in armor didn't they scare her. She had more brains than I, and more wild too. <laughs> In sparring, she'd beat me, Andy. She would have made a fine swordswoman, had she grown. Someday I'd like to meet my brother and sister. I'm sorry? You're what? Twins. By my mother's letters, they must be eight years old. You never told me this. You never asked. I had no idea you got letters from home. My mother writes once a year. The letters take months to find me, if they find me at all. Until now, I've given it little thought. What are their names? Ugh. What? I'm interested, that's all. You're bothersome. Ayomi Day is my sister. Temi is my brother. Three Duarte children walk the world. God help us. Good boy. Now that you can count to three, we can move on to four. I hope the twins have more charm than you do. Did I mention thick skin was waiting for you? All right, all right. I'm going. I can give no order for you return from the hunt. Lull, the halfpenny redeemer come to save us. Thou may enter, O great savior.
Excuse my sister. Underestimating her would be a mistake. She's tougher than you. You're alive. A walk by the beach? Before that? I don't remember. You were lucky. But luck has value. You didn't ask me here to watch you drink soup. What do you want? Kate says you have metal. I can use that. There's a service I need from you. You've something important needs doing and you want me to do it. No wonder your sister's fuming. Kate may wish her skin were thick as mine, but wishing will not make it true. Kate seems pretty tough to me. Her feelings fail her. She's much to learn. Speak frankly. What would you have me do? Banish a ghost that doesn't exist. Folk here believe in monsters. The fear makes them weak. Kill the beast. Kill their fear and give them back their strength. Fear can be good. We can't spare much, but you shall have a gun and powder and shot with it. You know the curse is real. Why not the beast too? The beast is nothing much. A bear, perhaps a wolf. A monster only in the mind. Why not kill it yourself? Because when the Banisher kills the beast, everyone here will believe the monster dead. Tis honest work. I presume you'll pay for it. I have the means to pay you. My word on it. Hmm. We'll see how that goes. I'll hunt your beasts, whatever it is. If you answer one last wee question. You may ask it. What's with the name? No one rightly calls their daughter Thick Skin. My birth name be best forgotten. Thick Skin better suits the world. Fair enough. In the wild, we carry muskets. And we carry these. Whistle for help if the need be great. And the gun? My sister can spare her musket. If you can get it from her. Kate will be delighted. Kate will be hurt. I predict fireworks. You think Kate's feelings get in her way? Watch her reaction when you ask for the musket, then tell me I'm wrong. Don't you have business elsewhere? Go, save us all from the beast. Go do my sister's char work. I need a musket. Thick skin said I should have yours. You'll rot in hell first, and so will she. This should be good. Your sister doesn't need to treat you equal. It's hard to be the younger sibling. I'll stop you there. You and I won't be bonding today, common ground or not. My musket is my liberty. With it, I go where I please. You won't lull me into giving it up. There's pain behind the anger. I doubt you'll blunt her temper. Measure your worth by your own mark. Your sister's estimation shouldn't matter. It matters. I do great work here, but my bull-headed sister won't see it. Thick skin measures worth by metal. The strong will live and the weak will die. She chose you to hunt the beast with my musket. She doesn't have to say a word about what she thinks of me. I'll bring you back your gun. I swear on it. You won't make it to New Eden Town without a gun. And we both know it. I'm sorry. I wish there were another way. As do I, Scotsman. You may have the gun. 
Now be so kind as to leave me be. The flint's a little tired, but she strikes fine. Unlike some, she won't go off half cocked. I'll take good care of her. And she of me, no doubt. The more I know Thick Skin, the more I like her. Is it her kind and friendly nature? Some would call her ruthless. But is she wrong? Life can be cruel. Perhaps she's right to embrace the cruelty. Climbed down from your tree then, have you? Aye, with no help from you. What's your name, lad? Beloved Scudder, if you must know it. I see you found yourself a gun. Kate gave it to me. I'll check, you know. May I pass? If Kate gave you her gun, I suppose you may pass. But I don't counsel it. Bad things happen in the woods. Only thick skin walks safely out there. Thick skin has a lofty reputation. Is it earned? Earned. Without thick skin, we'd be starved and dead. Even her sister knows it, and they hate each other. Do you know Kate well? Well, no one knows Kate Newsmith well. An old heartache sees to that. If your first love ends bad, they say, your heart never mends. Thank you for your time, Scudder. Good day to you. See you again, McCraith. If you're lucky. Behind Kate the Spitfire stands Kate the Broken-Hearted Girl. Hurt people, hurt others. Happens a... A target for your new toy. Ten guineas says you can't shoot as sweetly as you talk. You were lucky. I am lucky. I'm also a phenomenal marksman. Both of these things are true. So, where do we find this beast? We're not far from the missing settlers, I'll wager. That is quite the landslide. No way in or out. A mine. An old, abandoned mine. How wonderful. And our only way through. <laughs> that beam is literally... <laughs> that cost you. Reload fast. Here comes trouble. There's more of them. Watch out. Spectre possession. Move it.
Well, in we go then. I love these old underground places. I don't. Huska Castle nearly cost me an eye. <laughs> Investigating the cellar was your idea, remember? Daylight ahead. I'll take it. Let's go. Do you think this place is haunted? I'd almost welcome the distraction. Ah, seems to be stuck. Oh, shite! Get back up! Look out! Standing by.
We need to look for somewhere to cross. you throwing me around. Keep it that way. Strange tracks. Something passed this way. Something huge. Hell, this is grim. If this keeps up, there won't be a wolf left in New England. It forced its way through here. Dug up all the wolves and plucked them out. If the beast did this, then it must be bloody enormous. If the beast did this, then it must be corporeal. Not even the youngling survived. What could have done this? Vengeance. Vengeance incarnate. Whatever butchered the wolves spoke as one, with many voices. Any spirits in borrowed flesh? Could it be a scourge? Yes, a scourge. Powerful and very angry. than I would have liked. That howl, like many souls screaming as one. Well, I thought scourges were rare. Have you ever faced one? Once. A trade ship into Bordeaux sank in a storm. The slaves came back as a scourge. To banish it, I made 50 pounds of bane powder and shot it with a cannon. By then, it had killed the captain, and half the crew, and the ship's owner. Tragic, really. Fancy that. A body. He's not letting the undead get in his way, is he? They've got back up! Is that the sound of a person stopping its gun? Why do I get 
get the feel of it. Let's check it out. Gotta keep this up. Sound of a corpse, Doctor. I'm right here, you know. This bite's not easily chewed. Divert your focus. The face is shield. Change targets. Torment it first. Watch out. Spectre position. From the invisible. The longer path is safer, you must take it. Why won't you come with us then? The quickest she'll go ahead. We'll wait with food and shelter ready, then we'll all travel on together. Nicholas here shall walk with you. There'd be no better shot among us. Do you agree, Doolan? I'll do my best for you, Samuel. Of course I will. But if Thickskin says we'll be safe, I believe it. In the wild, we carry these. Whistle for help if the need be great. Someone is generous with her whistles. Much use they were to this poor bugger. If this Doolin fellow was meant to protect the missing group, I dread to think what became of them. <laughs> it was wise to split the group. The larger the band, the slower it moves. It wasn't a cattle drive. We're talking about people. Thick skin was practical. She knew what she was doing. Aye, that much is clear. Someone was here, some time ago. Take heart indeed. Maybe they're still out there somewhere. Maybe.
We're not finished here. Papers. Half bond. Says here that Kate loved a woman named Deborah. But let her die. A younger Newsmith has a low opinion of herself. She'd have to keep her love well hidden. Do you wish to go back? Home? We go where our work takes us. That's our home now. This almost looks like home. How so? My parents' house stood near the sugar mills. Before the fire took it, would they even know me? Would I know them? We could go back, you know. After this, we could go to Cuba together. First, let's face what lurks in the forest. There was essence tied to the altar. I've consumed it all. That's great, I suppose. Are you all right? Yes. I feel invigorated. Of course the bridge is out. Couldn't have a working bridge now, could we?
Look, we're getting closer. Something's nearby. Where is it? Huh? Rip the lost settlers, or what the beast has left of them. Why didn't they stand the chance? There is no god here. <sighs> Voices straining for release. The sound comes from those spectral webs. We just broke bread, Emily. A crust of bread and rancid cheese makes not a meal, dear sister. Ho! Oh, Samuel! When's our next stop? Quit griping and push your cart along. We'll get there when we get there. A ripple from the second group. Let's hear what they have to say. I'll find a way around. Is it just me or...? I felt it too. Here, I found something. Look to me! Breather, we can do it here. Come back here. We're not done. I sense the fragment of a ghost's voice. Sorry. Hi. 
Me too. Over here, something pulses. Your father is hurt and can walk no further. We must rest and treat the wounded. We must find shelter. The cold night will kill us all. Fire will bring the wolves. And so does that accursed whistle. The wolves are already here. And where is Nicholas with the help from Thickskin's camp? Where's our deliverance? We'll sound the call once more. Thick skin will come. She swore on it. The whistles only break the wolves upon us. Help will come. Help will come, I know it. The Huntress has killed us! Right in hell! Thick skin, New Smith! Right in hell! Watch out! Spectre possession! She lied to keep them safe. She gambled. They lost. She let with her head, not her heart. I won't condemn her for that. The second group died terrible deaths, but the Scourge did not kill them. And yet there must be a connection. Why would hungry wolves leave fresh meat uneaten? Those claw marks are smaller than the ones we saw earlier. The tracks start with the expedition and grow in size as they progress. Surrounding trees have been drawn in by a powerful force. The beast made itself from the specters of the dead settlers. Here's where it happened. There were more than a few settlers. This scourge is going to be huge. Damn thick skin. Her gifts just don't stop giving. Are you ready for the ritual? No, but let's do it anyway.
Yar. Come on, show yourself. Red. It's behind me, isn't it? Yes. Of course it is. Every bloody time. Surely too big to be a wolf. It's a scourge, all right. Anger shaped to kill. We wish you no harm. We know all about the wolf whistles. The whistle stick skin gave you. Oh, shite! Standing by. Focus on the stains.
named its betrayer. Not Vexkin. Kate. It spoke her name with just one voice. Her voice. The voice of the nightmare. You're certain? To the core of me. Within this creature lurks some part of my killer. Thick skin and Kate both accused. Is anyone in these damn woods innocent? Then it were real. This beast. How did I miss you on my travels through the woods? Because it did not want you. It wants your sister. Stay, Scotchman. I can use you. You gave them dog whistles. You sent them to die. Those with metal would have reached camp, and I'd have used them too. Those who died won't need feeding. The weak die that the strong may live. You tricked them. I tested them. This be the way of it. This be the way of the world. We have a hidden watcher. The sister. Kate? Show yourself. What? You're unarmed! Get yourself back to camp! All these long years... All these long years, I wish to be like you. To be as tough as you. If I was stalwart like my sister, I thought, I'd have saved her. I'd have saved the woman I love. I wish to be like you. And I see it now. I was just like you. Cold, selfish, a fear of my own heart. And the woman I love died for it. So many dead. You killed them as I killed Deborah. Look at us, we have no metal at all. Everything I did, I did so that you could live. You're my sister. I love you. Would you love me if I was weak? Or would you leave me, too, to the wolves? How dare you even think it? Oh. I dare because I care. Enough! I've done your hot work. I banished the monster you swore didn't exist, and now I know the truth. I know what you did. I made the hard choice. Do you think it pleased me? Do you think it were easy? Would saving them have been so much harder? You abandoned them because it was the easy thing to do. Easy? Look about you. Nothing here is easy, not even for the strong. The weak have no chance at all. No. It's best they die quick that the rest may live. Them wolves did us all a service. Better some dead by fang than all dead by famine. That makes a grim kind of sense. Do you trust your older sister? Rely on her. Fear her. She appalls me to the depths of my soul. But she be yet my sister. And this I know. Without thick skin, New Smith, we would surely starve. What happens now? 
Can you really give your people hope? Not me. You. When they hear the Banisher has killed the beast, they'll have all the hope they need. If that's the story we stick to. The beast spoke with many voices. One we, I, had heard before. The voice from the chapel. And Taya's killer. It charged you, Kate, with betrayal. What? I don't... This thing can have naught to do with me. I betrayed no one. I knew not of my sister's plan. Else I'd have stopped it. She's telling the truth, but so was the beast. It named her for a reason. Your journal did not fully burn. You read it. How dare you! You loved a woman. She died. You still carry the guilt. Is this why you tried to leave New Eden? What? No. It was... She died long ago. And I'll talk of her no more. She fears a reckoning. Let's give her one. Look about you. You brought this curse upon yourselves. Falls to me to lift it. The older sister's heart is withered. She'll never feel remorse. Let her pay. She's hard as stone, too far gone. Mumble all you want, I regret nothing. The curse struck, and I alone saw the danger. I acted. And now it is I who must act. Sacrifice the innocent to ensure your own survival. Or can he let you away with it? To heal, Kate must be free of her sister's grip. You mean to kill me? Then you're just like me, only more foolish. You mean to kill her? I mean to save her. A malignant spirit lives in thick skin, you smith and I will banish it. I have no evil spirit. I've done nothing wrong. Demon. Sprite. Evil spirit. I... Banish you. Great tormentor. I banish you. Kanilfa. Andri Snangi. Life to the living. Death to the dead. My name were roses, a flower. I became the pitiless thorn, but I did not make the world. It made me. Red. Look. Deborah. God spare me no. No! No! Oh. 
The curse is lifted. Here, at least. I hope she'll be all right. And you? Are you all right? It's a while now since I've been all right. I'm determined. I'll have to do. Well. Look at that. It's beautiful. No, look at it. Into the valley of death we go. The scourge troubles me. It's gone. The curse is lifted. The curse remains. The beast was born of it. The scourge made in equal measure from the treachery of the Newsmith sisters. Worse, though shaped by thick skin's betrayal, it was driven by Kate's. Remember what Charles said. A nightmare is the ghost of one who is terribly wronged. This nightmare's cold fury goes far beyond the Newsmith sisters. It cursed New Eden as a whole. I wonder what they did to earn such hate. Promises unkept, covenants broken, the curse has its roots in betrayal, treachery that perhaps demanded sacrifice. I will keep my word. We chose together. I know we did. I know you will. Did we miss a few? Did we miss a few? Look to me. I love how you love animals. Crows don't count. <laughs> Doors blocked on the other side.
Do you need a moment to rest? I'd rather keep going to New Eden, but I uh, probably need a breather. You're thinking. So are you. Penny for your thoughts. I was thinking of Kate. Of her horror when she saw the ghost. Of her pain when she lost her sister. She was desolate. And yet relieved. And terrified. I can't shake the picture. According to her journal, Kate had had the courage to love a woman. But betrayed her. She must have meant this Deborah. Whoever this ghost is, her resentments extend beyond the newsmiths. May her wounds heal well. Sisterhood can be complicated. You're not big on family, are you? A family weaves its bonds in trust. If the trust is broken, the bonds wither. Sounds like someone got hurt. When I was very young, I had a friend. She was my chosen sister and very dear to me. I opened my heart. It was a mistake. I played with fire and was burned. I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. I have a new family now. I have found the love of my life. I love you. Always. Rest now. I have the watch. I'll sit by your bedside until I can hold you once again. Come here. I want to try something. Good morning to you too. I think we can break this down, together. Sure, let me grab my pickaxe. Just trust me. Did you feel the way I tore the veil? Aye, I did. And we did it together. But I do. You brought me focus, that's plenty. Can you do it again? Oh, I intend to. Strange place for a stockade. Farm ground, marshy approaches. Like Bannockburn, 1314, and the Scots beat the English. You won the battle, but who won the war? Dunno. It's not over yet. No! first 
I can help. Something bitter. That's a witch's work. Could it be Seeker? We cannot be sure. Tread carefully. Something feels off. The veil is thin here. The dead are many. So, you dislike crows? Winged carrion eaters. They always bring despair. Maybe they just follow it. Could you knock that gate down? There is no way I'm breaking this. Let's find something else then. Let me guide you to the source. Change tack. Now would be a good time to speak a few words of power, just to be sure.
things here. Hidden. Follow my voice. Standing by. I feel a draft. From the invisible. Tribes. What the invaders left of them. with a damp and itchy straw bed. Just how I like it. Of another in sight. This is 
isn't over yet. Banisher, who died for her novice. Ah, the witch's novice. Ho oh, there, Antea. Are you not surprised to see me? You're a little early, but no, not surprised. On my return, Ceridian told me our poor wee banisher would turn up haunted. A haunted banisher. Well, it is funny, isn't it? What was that thing you fought? Thing? Oh, him. He's a bloody nuisance is what he is. Are you badly hurt? I've tangled with old Mossad before. A couple of minutes to myself and I'll be fine. Ceridian knew about Antea's ghost. Obviously. Not very bright, is he? If she knew Antea was around, why did she not tell you to tell me? Ceridian withheld that information from both of us for a good reason. Better trust her plan. Death is a part of life, Banisher. You know this better than most. I suppose she didn't want to break your heart again. You tended to him. Thank you. Ugh. Oh, I'm a good novice. I do what I'm told. You look like you need a moment. Can we help? <laughs> Thought you'd never ask. Some of my spirit chasers went out. Uh, that's how old Saul crossed the hem. The hem? The hem. Where the fabric of the living world meets that of the dead. Ah, the veil between the visible and the invisible. Whatever soothes your soul, Vanisher. Rest. Heal. Tell us how to fix the spirit chasers. The spell is cast. You need only light them. Be careful. Old Mossad won't have gone far. Oh, I'll sit down now. Good luck. Have fun. So, how do we do this? We light the spirit chases with flint and steel, I guess, I think. Picking up something spectral nearby.
Need a stronger hand from your favorite ghost? First spirit chaser. like these things. to go.
There's a lock. I'm gonna need a key. It's on you. Spirit chasers repel these bastards, right? That's how witches use them. Creeping ivy. I always hated these sap thirsty spectres. This should be enough. There. Witchcraft is easy. I don't know what the fuss is about. I'm sure your witch friend would agree. I think I'll just tell her we're done. What wasp crawled up that spectre's arse and stung him angry? A lost battle? A betrayal? Cowardice in the ranks? Who knows? Did I see you talking to a crow just now? Yes and no. All ready to go then? Good. She's waiting for you. Go where? To see your mistress? Ceridian, yes. In a boat. It'll be fun. No, we're going to New Eden. The nightmare's grip on the world is too strong. The fog is too thick. You cannot enter its stronghold. There's no way back to the meeting house. Not yet. And not without help. We've done fine on our own so far. You're dead. Maybe you're not doing quite as well as you think. You're blunt, but I take your point. We'll talk to Ceridian before we move on. That's better. Follow me. Careful. Don't rot the bow. Have we far to go? Nope. 
How far is far? Don't worry. You'll be safe. Safe? The mire is home to many angry spirits. <laughs> but my mistress keeps them quiet. <laughs> Dead quiet. That spectre you fought looked like a harvester. Banishers and their labels. He'll surely be back. So will I. The veil seems thinner here. Always has been. We call them the Maya Marshes, but the nearby tribes call it the Ill Mouth. Stay too long, you'd get sick. Is that why Ceridian's wards wane faster than they should? That is because she is dying. I'm sorry. Life's a journey. Death is but one step. This is almost as lovely as that ride through Hedengracht. All we're missing is the hailstones and the Russia at our heels. I'm sure we can arrange something. You do plan the best escapes. What a mess. What happened here? Men happened. War happened. We've never faced this many spectres at once. Spectres are drawn to you two. Like moths to the flame. Why us? Dunno. Feels like something powerful finds you interesting. What can you tell us about your mentor? I could tell you quite a lot, but I'm not going to. She's a very old witch who's tended this very big garden for a very long time. That's it? Believe me, that's more than enough. A soul soul. What does he want? Destruction, bloodshed, Ceridian's head on a plate. They must have known each other once. We could help you banish him. You banishers are so arrogant. He's Ceridian's business. Guess we don't interfere. Welcome to Ceridian's Island. There is much power here. Oh, you noticed that, did you? Like I say, welcome to Ceridian's Island. She's at home, and expecting you. Follow the path until you find a black pond near ancient ruins. I'll see you there soon enough. How does she do that? It's a trick, right? There's more to that one than tricks. The girl is gifted. If we want to stop for a wee minute, this place will do. Hanging dolls. Witches do like to be creepy. As a child, I made dolls just like those. <laughs> I bet you did. Seeker's Black Pond. 
I can see why they call this the ill mouth. What is that? Antia? No, that's not quite true. I knew who I was, it's just... I was lost, and I had nowhere to go. I had no when to go. Does that make sense? Time lays traps for the dead. It's never fair. His voice was a beacon. The light in the darkness that led me back to me. And to the world. You have a powerful connection, you two. Or will have. Or had. Possibly all three. And here he is, the other banisher. Greetings. Good day. Come, sit. It's been too long. Have we met? Of course we have. Just now. Also later. Decades ago. Never mind. It's good to see you, Red McRae. I told her our story. I hope you don't mind. Such an ordeal. I'm so very sorry you have to go through it. How hard it must be for you both. I... thank you. But now you're here together, and I'm glad. Because you will only be able to end this together. You brought us here. Why? You have many questions, and I have little time. Your novice mentioned it. I am sorry. <laughs> I am not. Soon I'll be one with the trees, root and bark. But that is not why I asked you here. Dearest, dears, the path ahead is yet unclear. But know this. If you are to defeat the nightmare, your hearts must be open. Open, of course, to each other. No barriers. Your bond must be strong. The nightmare is stronger. Wherever we turn, its power is inescapable. The same is true of many things. Darkness, yes. But also light. When you died, dear Antea, New Eden crumbled, but some yet live. Seek them out, help them. The nightmare won't like that. No, you are after all a threat to her existence. And rightly so, she believes you cannot reach into her domain. She is wrong. There is a way. The Void. A dreadful place beneath both the Incarnate and the Invisible. When you have learned to walk the Void, you may use it to enter the Nightmare's Den. First, you must free the people of New Eden from her grip. What is this void? If there's a place beneath the incarnate and the invisible, this is the first I've heard of it. Now you have, and not before time. That's enough for now. Is it safe? What will we find there? Who knows what you'll find? It ebbs and flows, expands and contracts, twists and turns, but you won't find safety. In the void, 
safe has no meaning. Just know this. The moment you enter it, you must escape. In places, the void is breached. Follow the beacons, do not stray, and all will be well. Our seeker crafted you a tuning key. With it, you may open the breach. Don't linger. Time is fickle. Thank you, Ceridian. We'll be off. Before you leave, tell me. What did you choose? What do you mean? Each of you made a promise to the other. What was it? What did you choose? I chose to stay. I see. The price, in essence, will be high. But you know this. Aye, we do. The tuning key is on the table. In the void, it will protect you. Seeker waits at the pool to show you the way. Come on, we've work to do. Ceridian gave us a tuning key. Now I know how you pull your little disappearing trick. It's no trick. It's what we do to survive. Too many bastards out there want us dead. This must be one of the breaches Ceridian mentioned. Yes. This is a void breach. But yours are a little further down, in the cave. You'll see. This one is special. It's the last and only way into New Eden Town since the bridge burned down. We could go back to New Eden right now? Why would you want to do that? The Nightmare is strong. She has New Eden by the proverbials. Loosen her grasp, and maybe, just maybe, you can walk through that breach and live. All right, all right. We get it. You have your tuning key. Hold on to it for dear life. That shouldn't be a problem. Once through the breach, there's no turning back. Keep going and don't look back. Void walking. Can you tell me more about it? I use it to leap from one breach to another, as Ceridian taught me. I don't dally, nor should you. Why not? The void is terra incognita. I suspect Ceridian knows, but isn't saying. Bad sign, that. Very bad sign. I'm curious. What do you think of the Nightmare yourself? I think the Nightmare is the child of our father's iniquities. And of our own sins, too. Do you admire it? I fear it. But I accept its wrath. As I accept the rain. <laughs> and New Eden surely deserves the flood. Tell me about yourself, Seeker. Hmm. How do I put this politely? No. So, who's Deborah? I know no Deborah. I don't think I've ever known a Deborah. We'll be going. Hope to talk again soon. Yes. I do so enjoy our little chats across the hem. I suppose we'll come back to this one eventually. Can't wait, can you? What do you want? More to the pot. Seeker. Milady. We'll be going. Sure.
Is this Seeker's cave? Only one way to find out. God, where are we? Remember what we were told. Follow the beacons. Move fast. No looking back. This place looks barren. Lifeless. This is the realm of the dead. This is the underworld. Let's not linger. <laughs> Did you hear that? Yes, keep moving. There, our way out. Let's see. What the... What is going on? I know that voice from long ago. I banished its owner. What does that mean? It means we must leave. Now. <laughs> the next beacon is dead. Oh, what a new abomination is this? I'd say a sorrow used as a Cerberus. That's unfair. Almost done. Attention! Hold of this horror crawl. I don't know, but we need to go. Hell 
was that? Cerulean's key was supposed to get us through unnoticed. I don't know. Are you all right? I'll do. But that nightmare over there, we know so little about it. That worries me. What about you? Whatever the reason, that nightmare is here because of something these men and women did. New Eden reeks of their guilt. I died because of them. Curse these people. Curse them and their secrets and their sins. We all get there. We always do. Are those breaches really safe? We were protected. You heard the whispers. The despair and that one voice. It called to you. Something knew you were there. It saw you. I thought, for, for a moment, I thought of them, those poor butchered boys. I swear in the void I heard their screaming, wings, sent to die for their sultan's pride. It was like I was back in the Balkans. Those ghosts are gone. You asked for their ascent, and I gave it to them. They're not in the void. I know. This void. Is it hell? Is that what we saw? Is that where we've been sending all those ghosts we've banished? Or is it limbo? A timeless in-between filled with tortured souls? When we banish a ghost, we destroy it. The teaching is clear. What if the teaching is wrong? I heard the voices. They worry me too, but the teaching can't be wrong. We should have known where we were sending those poor souls. What if you end up there too? All is well. As long as we stay together, all is well. Aye, all is well. Right. Seeker wasn't lying about the burned down bridge. Which way? North by the mountains or south through the lowlands? Let's pick one and see where it takes us. We won't be going this way. This country needs better bridges, or it will come to nothing. <sighs> These will be the Harrows. An imaginative name. There's a ring to it. Ready and waiting.
Over there. A dock. An underground landing. Interesting. what was landed here all that time ago. Something illicit, no doubt. <sighs> Possession incoming. Ice peel. Get rid of the other Spectre first. Another insight. Ready and waiting. Ceridian's island is a pleasant place, but you'd never know it from here. Better to keep it that way, eh? For everyone's sake. <laughs> Did we miss a few? Nightmare has influence here. We should be careful. No matter the bridge, we can cross it. The landscape here is more pleasant. There are fields and pastures and better weather. Can you feel the warmer air? You're in its sights, Red. Gun-cocking. 
standing by. The landscape here is more pleasant. There are fields and pastures and better weather. Can you feel the warmer air? I don't feel it, not really. But I know it's there. If I focus, I can still see the beauty of the world. I'd be tempted to think the warmer air means a warmer welcome. I suspect I'll be wrong. Trust that instinct, young apprentice, for it will serve you well. Red, suddenly I can't manifest. That's not good. Something magic hinders me. A ward restrains me. I'm still hindered. There must be another ward nearby. I can't help you. Better. Thank you. These wards look fairly new. A witch? Doesn't look like Seeker or Ceridian's work. Let's be careful. For years, Kate Newsmith believed she did not measure up to her sister. Now she knows that in her kindness, she is at least her sister's equal. Thick skin has paid for her sins. But what of her sister? What will Kate do now? Her people look to her. For their future. Their protection. Their survival. What now? I can't help you from here. I'll deal with it quickly. They brought more friends. Reinforcements! A ward restrains me. What in the... there's a ship here. Incredible. 
beautiful too. Beware, wards. in left. more. Whatever grip it is the nightmare has here, you'd never know by looking. Nothing's concealed. The village is full of ghost wards. They're afraid of something. Leave them up. Cause no trouble. Oh there! Anyone home? Where did they go? The well, recently sealed. Below, it feels off. Smells off, too. Friends, 
Find fortitude in our success. Exiled from our homes by the devil's machinations, we congregate before the Lord in this new meeting house. We gather, we worship, we overcome. And we shall be well protected by the holy ward my son now makes under my instruction. For I have spent hours countless in your service, pouring through books and papers, devouring the oeuvre of my peers, that our meeting house be safe. Fairfax Haskell, for whom the word pompous was invented. Half built? Yes. Open to the four winds. Yes, but already it is resplendent with our faith. A shining reminder of our renewed belief in better days. McCraith, Mr. McCraith. <laughs> I, I thought you. I thought you. What happy portent, what most excellent news. What blessings. I applaud your valorous deeds, O oh, fate, I say. Dead, sir, I thought you dead. Maybe I am. Do not make light of such matters, my friend, for the devil's wrath is wide awake, and his claw scratches at our door, metaphorically speaking. Well, I'm alive. I promise. My friends, I shall deliver this sermon another time. The battle with the Devil's Legions is ongoing, and Mr. McCraith and I have much to discuss. Thank you, Lammy. Behold this miracle of ours, Mr. McCraith. Exiled we, yet in our darkest hour, we find the moral vigor to build this humble monument to resilience. But you and I must speak of darker matters. For we, erudite men of higher learning, know that evil yet walks. There is much work to be done. Indeed there is. Yes, yes. Forgive the inelegance of my welcome. You are alone. Do I surmise that Miss Duarte is no more? I'd rather not talk about it. Blessed is the man in whose spirit there is no guile. When I kept silence, my bones waxed old through my roaring all the day long. I'm so sorry for your loss. Grief is a journey, long and painful. But you do not walk the road alone, I promise you. Oh, I know. I know. In time, God healed my wounds. May you two find peace. Now, I regret that even at this most burdensome time for you, I must move with haste to business and beg once more for your help. What's going on? Must be serious if you're asking for my help. Since your defeat at the meeting house, the devil, heartened and emboldened, goes from strength to strength. He insinuates himself among my people, reveling in the suffering of the disease he unleashes upon us. It pits one against the other. Suspicion tears this community apart once again. All this to weaken my people and lead them away from the light of God. In times of disease, you need doctors, and I'm no doctor. We'll not treat the symptoms, we'll tear out the root. An agent of the devil walks among us. A witch? You must find her, or him, as it may be. You and I share great expertise, but I am a man of position, while you, sir, are much more familiar with field work. Go, meet my people, walk amongst them, 
Learn which of them secretly serves the demon, that we may expunge this evil malady from our body politics. What makes you think there is a witch at work here? Aye, sir, I'm a man of God and intellect. I can read the signs. When a so-called mystery disease afflicts half of my people overnight, there can be only one culprit. It is the devil's doing, sir. Probably through one of his servants. For you see, I understood immediately that the water in the well had been tainted. There are no strangers here. You could self-accept it. No one has fled. The guilty woman, or man, I suppose, remains within the village. As evil walks, the evil are emboldened, but this witch shall see her downfall. Or his, of course, as did the last one, as will the next. Some years ago, you may have heard tell of this, I made my name on the execution of a terrible witch. It pains me that I must do it once more. I am no witch hunter. My business is with the lingering dead. For a fee, yes, I know. But you can't deny evil practitioners exist. A few years ago, I had to cleanse this community from such a threat. Why would she curse your colony? Why would anyone choose to separate from God's flock? I'm afraid some just want to see the world burn, Mr. McCraith. By the grace and charity of the good Lord, she was exposed. It was my honor to serve him in sending her to hell where she belonged. Her mask was a good one, as if butter would not melt upon her tongue. But she cannot fool a man of faith and intellect. No, sir, you cannot. You'll not mind me saying it, but for a Puritan paradise, you seem to get more than your fair share of witches. God has not forsaken us, but someone here does the devil's work. Find me a witch, Mr. McCraith. Return this place to the Lord. I'm a working man, Governor, but the Lord does seem happy to pay, so I'll do what I can. I'll take my leave of you, Governor. Of course. Outside, you must take the stairs. While you're with us, the first house on the left shall be your home. Another witch hunt. That just tells me he's hiding something. Mind you, I'd like to know what's causing the sickness. I'm glad you're here too. You're the governor's son, right? I, uh, yes sir. Lamentation Haskell. Friends call me Lammy. Oh, they would if I had any. Please, call me Lammy. I have so many questions, sir. So many questions. But I suspect this is not the time. No, not the time. But perhaps you may help me anyway. Me? Why, if I can help, I'd be honored. Your father believes there is a Harrow's witch. Have you noticed anyone acting strange? I... I'd answer, sir, I surely would, only things being as they are, everyone is acting strange. The curse brought illness, illness brought division, division has led to strife. We could do with some healing, sir, we could. We need you to bring us peace. Good day to you, Lammy. Good day to you, sir. Governor's speech was so. Give us this day our daily bread. Our bread, not our ale. Our bread.
Ghost Ward. I think you can safely knock it over. The ward's power is gone. Good day to you, Mr. McGrath. I'd wish you the same if I knew your name, sir. Ishmael Law. I have seen you in the meeting house. I have recognized the markings on your hands. I would have liked to have been a banisher, to track over the mysteries of our world. This must be something. Have you noticed, by chance, any strange behavior hereabouts? Our village has suffered much loss of late. Many of my neighbors have seen the disease take their loved ones. They get sick, and you never see them again. Maybe you hear them moan as you pass their house, but then the mourning stops. In times like these, pray tell, if a person was behaving strangely, how could I possibly tell? I'm sorry, but... I can tell from the look in your eye that you've someone in mind. Watson, the shoemaker. Perhaps because of illness or through the loss of his loved ones, but whatever has befallen the poor man, uh, he seems to have lost his mind. I'll see you later, Ishmael. Any time, sir. Good day to you both. And a good day to you too, sir. And wasn't that quite the entrance you made? You'll be the talk of the town. So, what brings you to our wee corner of the world? The governor bade me make the rounds. He suspects evil doing. If it's evil doing you're after, you may turn around and hurry back to New Eden Town. Now, if it excuse us, my sister's not feeling well and we must hurry home. Dear Yves, I didn't catch your names. God be with you and your terrible pronunciation. Mary Claire O'Hara. This is my sister, Elizabeth. Noticed anything strange around here of late? Strange? A fine word for the devil's work. I call it evil. Look around you. The harrows are dying. Our flock took sick. Every last animal dead. Ram, lamb and you. Then the people took their turn. Many of our neighbours are with the Lord. At least, 
That's where we hope they are. If there's witchery afoot, I'll need help finding the culprit. Do you have suspicions you'd care to share? Well, Caleb Watson lately talks to himself. And if you interrupt him, why, he's as rude as a goat. And he was such a well-mannered man, too. Lord forgive me, but I don't like him. The man has stopped washing. He reeks. Interesting. Thank you. I'm no healer, but I'll help if I can. Do you have plants as need gathering? Something to ease the pain. All the meadows sweet and vervain in the world will not help this fever, I fear. We need no help from the godless. Thank you very much. Our faith guides and protects us. And I pray that you get better, ma'am. God will surely make me whole again. She's dangerously sick. Either she doesn't know it, or she knows it and is hiding it. I'll let you rest so. Slan live. Goodbye to you. Be sure to fear the Lord and faithfully serve him. Goodbye to you, sir. Caleb Watson. We keep hearing that name. Let's pay him a visit. Ah, the famed and famous Banisher. The one and only Redmond Wraith. Have we met? I was at the meeting house. You've got guts. I like that. <laughs> Thank you very much. Ooh, politeness. Gives me the shits. I'm Phoebe Walcott. I buy and sell. Now then, what's your pleasure? So, have you noticed any strange behaviour of late? Apart from my own? Yes. So much so that now I am almost normal. Caleb Watson, for example. Now he, my friend, is really strange. Is he now? He used to be such a nice man. Now he's aggressive and he smells like the Christmas cat at Easter. Where can I find Caleb Watson? Well, now. Seeing as he's our cobbler, you'll find him in his workshop. Till we meet again. You mind your good self, do you hear? Looks like we've... Smells even worse here. It's justice. Start anew. Shout on these people. Can't hurt us. But how could you make him kiss it again? Oh there. Are you all right, sir? We're closed. Ah, uh, oh, now, out with you. Leave, leave. I can tell from your sunny demeanour that you won't mind me asking you a couple of questions. I'm Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. I'm searching the area for evidence of witchcraft. And you, I can tell, are itching to help me. Show your shining shapes, goose peddler. No witches here. Only myself, Caleb Watson. The governor bade me make the rounds. Is anyone acting strange? Why would he ask you that? Everyone keeps secrets. And I have a talent for uncovering them. I ain't got no secrets. I ain't done no wrong. Search me house, if you don't believe me. Say for yourself. And when you're done, if you're any kind of man, you'll come back here, doff your cap, apologize, then shite off and never come back. If you're looking for someone acting strangely, I think you've found your man. Tell me a tale. What have you heard round about lately that might be of interest? Gossips for shite bags. Not being a shy bag, I don't gossip. I'll be leaving you alone for now. A man content with his own company is never alone. <laughs> you hear that? Good one, right? <laughs> Fear not. You'll bugger off soon. They both will. Oh, 
What's this? It's not metal, not wood. Bone. It's bone. Lovely. Ishmael Law said Watson lost his wife and brother. He's surely haunted, but where's the ghost? Debris from a bond down house? Why keep it here? Ruth married Caleb, but his brother died trying to save her. A surprisingly noble act for a drunk. I think we need to talk to Caleb Watson. The smell of your own ass. You said you had no secrets. That was a lie, am I right? Everyone has secrets. I can smell your secrets from here, mate. A pox on you. And a pox on your questions, too. You'll not take him head on. You must take your time. Outflank him. There's Bond debris out back. I found bone in it. Where does it come from? You must have little business if you spend your time sifting through my rubbish. It came from the house. Probably. I read your letter to Ruth. It's clear you loved her. Were you telling the truth about Alexander's infidelity? My name is Caleb Watson. And before God, and all present, I swear that the letter I wrote to Ruth was a load of shite. Lusting for his beloved Ruth, I set out to ruin Alexander's name because I'm a greedy little prick. You're frank. You don't sound like you regret it, though. No. The past the past. Dead and buried. My brother is but a lingering memory. It was terrible what happened to your wife and brother. It might have helped if you'd mentioned that. You must be grieving. Do you mind if I ask where they're buried? Shite on me, shite bad brother. And shite on you too. They're both deep in the dirt up at God's Acre. And I'll speak no more of it. What's going on at God's Acre, Caleb? Shite off with your God's Acre. And good riddance to both. God's acre concerns you not. You need to tell me what happened here. Stop hiding. Nothing happened. I buried... I buried all... Quiet, you. And you can shite off, taking your nothing happened with you. Whatever happened, it happened at God's acre. Thoughts on Caleb? You first, young man. Haunted. To the point of madness. Ruth and Alexander, maybe? Maybe. But something feels off. We jump to no conclusions. Instead, we gather proof. Am 
God's Acre. God's Acre. Too heavy to lower from your side. Here we are. Let us find the graves of Alexander and Ruth, and whatever got Kate up acting so strange. Take on a ghost. I think I see a patella. Lovely. Ruth Watson. There's another grave beneath it. Undertakers did this, they should find other work. I doubt there's a job on Earth that suits whatever did this. Here did lie Alexander Watson. Did Caleb take their bodies? Someone did. And he's at the top of my list. Well, they made quite the mess. Decoys to distract wayward spectres to keep them away from the Watson plot. I think rudimentary Someone's had a little training Perhaps the decoys make sure it's the way follow the path don't get too close I'll try This way, more of them. <laughs> That's what I was talking about when I said don't get too close.
demonology. I should have known. Green hell is this? Fight now, talk later. Did you go, you wee bastard? Physical to spectral, they do that. I can help. A vicious scourge that despises the living. In these lands, what a surprise indeed. Shrines now? With bones? It's like Lady Blackwood's boudoir around here. A ghost left a blurred fragment of its memory. Oh, there, fella. You're nasty, aren't you? Nasty, yes. But also shoddy. It's very poor work. Are you sure we didn't miss anything? With a bit of luck, we'll find what we need. It looks like a butchered version of the ritual of lesser palingenesis. The ritual of... that ritual? The one that brings someone back? That ritual? Yes, that ritual. Gavamark Arsenal! Still confusing your chance? Through a single point passes an infinity of paths. As flesh Unto verb, as verb unto heart, as heart unto flesh. Death's knot is unsevered, and I shall cut it. Caleb Watson invoked a ghost without a body for it to inhabit, so it took his. Caleb is no longer Caleb. Is he still in there too? He used pieces of his wife and also of his brother. Ruth, Alexander, Caleb could be any combination of them in there. Let's go find out which.
This isn't over yet. Did we miss a few? Right here, you know. How sure are we that the ritual will work? Caleb's work was poor. Your work will be good. Cold feet? My feet are fine. It's my gut that troubles me. The ritual shall work. And all shall be well, I promise. been to God's Acre. Quite a tale it told us. You're not Caleb, are you? Or at least not entirely. Ah. Can't fog you. Alexander Watson. Long tale short, Caleb tried to bring his dead wife back. And I live here now. So many questions. Where to even start? He was trying to bring his wife back. How did you end up in the mix? Caleb made a fine cobbler, a poor brother, a worse husband, and a truly terrible witch. The ritual went to shite, because, <laughs> of course it did. <laughs> Do both of you share Caleb's body? Share? <laughs> no. This house of flesh is mine. But because I am a generous man, I allow my brother to live in the cellar. We were twins. I was the rotten half, they said. But who's the rotten half now? There's something else you should know, if you don't know it already. I'm not alone. I completed the ritual. My darling Ruth is in here too. You used the ritual to bring Ruth's spirit into Caleb's body. Why? Love moves a soul to strange endeavors. We deserve a better life. I set myself to claiming it. I understand your anger, more so your desire. But what of Ruth's? Did you consider what she wanted? Caleb stole a life from me. But he also stole Ruth's voice. She shrank beneath him. Of course she wanted a second chance at life. I'd like to hear this from Ruth. May I please speak with her? No! We've carved ourselves out a little happiness at last. I'll not have you break it. Please, leave us alone. Give us this. We need to speak to her, one way or another. If he won't tell us anything. Perhaps the house Ruth died in will. Caleb was no saint, but this is hellish grim. Does he deserve it? Aye, he does. And it's not like I killed him. He's alive in here somewhere. Watching me ruin his name. He can hear me now. Destroying his reputation as I had to hear him destroy mine when he painted me a fornicator. How oh, nice. He took our love, Ruth and mine, and killed it. 
Now our love's reborn, and he can do naught but sit and watch. Caleb was a cad. Shite on him. Let him suffer. You died trying to save Ruth from a bonding house. True. True. I'm sorry. There's an awful way to go, and so young too. You deserve better. We deserved better, and now we have it. And with it, Caleb gets to make amends. For he did nothing. He stood and watched us burn. <clears throat> Caleb's name was ruined then. We're just putting the boot in. I'll be leaving you alone for now. Alone? <laughs> Not really. Hush now. All is well. Ruth Nothing and Alexander are having an affair again. in her husband's body. I can't find an angle with that. Isn't it just plain wrong? Something feels wrong. Something about Ruth. If we find the ghost, Ty, we can talk to her. fell in with them inside. There's a lot of debris. Wards. I'm going to need a hand here. Ghost wards cannot manifest. The ghost wards feel far away from here. Just one keeps me from manifesting. Fancy knocking it down? No wards. Need me to give that roadblock a little push? <laughs> I know.
This work shows real sensitivity. Caleb? Maybe. Not Alexander. I suspect we've just learnt a little about Ruth. I must be nearby. Of course, Ruth's heart binds them like a bushel of rotting corn. You! What do you have there? Stop right there, you rank rump! Whatever you found, it ain't yours! You buried Ruth's heart in the ashes of the house that killed her. I find that odd. You, a ghost, went digging in the ashes of a dead woman's house. You're ill-positioned to call me odd. Don't think I haven't felt your presence before. Stole your tongue while I speak with Ruth. Ruth? Can you hear me? Can you speak? Pock off and die! I'm in charge here! No! Hush ye, Alexander. I'll speak. I'm Ruth. I hear you. I'm Antea Duarte. We're here to help. Oh, I'm glad. Please, end this nightmare. Help me! Go to hell in a bag of shite. We're fine. And you have not the right, you hear? You've not the right. Her heart! Give it back! Show yourself. No more does he silence me. We may speak. Help me, please. Who taught Caleb the resurrection ritual? To say it was taught would mean he'd learned it. He read it off a page. As a sorcerer. Caleb makes a fine cobbler. Think about Caleb. He was a good listener. As he worked, clients would bend his ear. The Haskell boy, for one. As Caleb pinned the governor's shoes, young Lammy would talk magic. N nonsense, really. But Caleb was listening. Wait. Lammy Haskell gave Caleb the resurrection ritual. After Lammy mentioned the ritual, Caleb became obsessed with it. He begged. Lammy, in his misplaced generosity, gave it. Caleb was intent on dark work. Lammy furnished written instructions. Caleb's letter changed your life. How did it feel at the time? He tore me in two. I loved Alexander, 
but I deserve to marry a man who would be true. Caleb seemed decent. I, I believed he loved me. I thought I married the better brother, but I'd married a liar. A liar and a devil. <sighs> and yet, not even he deserves this. No one deserves this. How did Caleb treat you? With adoration. I was an idol. Worshipped, yet unloved. He was the sculptor and I was the statue. Smiling down, unmoving from my pedestal with nothing to say. Now I'm sewn into a festering sack with the quivering remnants of my husband and the angry ghost of his dead brother. Please, let me out. Ruth, your husband Caleb's botched resurrection ritual brought you back, but allowed his brother Alexander to take you hostage. Once we deal with the Watson brothers, you shall be free to ascend. Do what you must. I'll suffer it if it leaves me free to go. No! We can stay. Please, Ruth, let us stay. Look at you. Your counterfeit, a sham of a thing. Your so-called life is no life at all. Caleb lied and stole your love. But when the time was right, you lied and stole his body. We're ending this nonsense now. Alexander, you were wronged, but Ruth owes you not. Not her life, nor her death. I'm not my brother. I am the man who runs into the burning house. Ruth owes us nothing, but my love is true and his is not. Your love is not measured by what you win. It's measured by what you're willing to let go. I... I'm sorry, Ruth. You deserved better. Better than him. Better than me. Send me away, Banisher. Let the devil stoke the flames of hell for me. And we'll see if I burn. Take your head out your arse, you're not that important. Right, hold still, both of you. Let me pry you all apart. There is nothing left for you here. Are they gone? Am I speaking with the cobbler, Caleb Watson? That you, Caleb? I, I, I think... Uh, yes, that's me. Or it, it was me, once. For my bastard brother was my hollow keeper. You're not entirely innocent, though. If you'll permit the unfortunate expression, there was more than one of you in it. I... You were in it too. He ruined my name, ruined my flesh, ruined my wife. You gave him a pat on the cheek of his ass and, and sent him on his way. I am an, an imperfect man. My brother was a bastard and, and sly and he tricked you onto his side. What does that make you? I too am an imperfect man. I have mercy and patience in limited supply. Let's not test those limits further, eh? Come here. 
We've seen some horrors, but that... This is the work. You're right. There's nothing I'd rather be doing. That was something. Don't take it to heart. Their choices are not your business. Our choices are my business. And the consequences too. Our love story shall have a better ending. I shall be as I was before, as if I'd never gone away. I... I hear you. Good. Now, let's see what Lamy Haskell has to say about raising spirits from the dead. Governor. May I help you, Mr. McCraith? I have to admit, this is an unusual case. Yes, yes, but have you solved it? I believe so. But the culprit was not responsible for the plague. At least not directly. Have you found the witch or have you not? Someone here has been dabbling in some dark magic. I have the name. So? What are you waiting for? Don't you want to hear the name? I do not need to. The principle is what matters. Not exactly. The name is Lamentation Haskell. No, it can't be. My son is studious. Curious? Too curious at times, perhaps. But he does not have a bad bone in his heart. He showed Caleb Watts in a ritual. The cobbler used it and became possessed. Even if true, it would only mean my son was exposed to corruption. It happened before. Bring me proof, Banisher. Find the real source of evil. I'll get it. Mark me. I noted your ghost wards with some interest. Ghost wards, an interesting name. I call them sanctifiers, a name more palatable to my flock. This requires a great deal of occult knowledge. Where did you learn your craft? Etienne Roulet, one of the greatest demonologists of our time, is a good friend of mine. I improved upon his work. Why did you not use them in New Eden when the curse began? It was more complicated to convince the whole congregation of the necessity to use magic. Here, people have more trust in my unmovable probity. A man in your position must know what goes on in his own community. Why, of course, I know all that there is to know. Or near enough. Ask your question, sir. Ask away. I must find your son, Governor. Sooner rather than later. His interests take him hither and thither. If he isn't here, he must be working on the outskirts. He's been sprucing up one of the abandoned houses there. I ordered them emptied when the sickness hit. Yeah, take the gate key. Go there. See for yourself. You're wrong about him. You're wrong about my son. Needless to say that I count, of course, on your discretion. He was quick to condemn till it was his own son on the block. Who's he really protecting? We'll bring him the proof he wants. If the boy is guilty, his father may not be able to protect him. Something's emanating from under there. No wonder this place is off limits. Uh. 
Not here, not now. Get back up. Make a run for it. I'm right here, you know. One of these must be Lammy's hideaway. Wards. I'm going to need a hand here. Mommy, you here? Can you find a way around the locked door? The incisions are clean, the precision of an expert. There's magic here, though faint. Harold, mean anything to you? Not a thing. He mentioned an old mill. Seemed fascinated by the place. <gasps> Perhaps there's a key. Nothing incriminating... yet. Remember what we found at Caleb Watson's? Maybe we're not looking in the right place. If I had something to hide, I might hide it in an abandoned mill.
There's more of them. You shouldn't stay in there. Another in sight. Why a mill? Away from the village. Perfect for his research. Perfect to hide secrets. Yeah, he's not out here for pleasure, that's for sure. Peaceful. Like home on a good day. Oh, it's hilly, mate. He felt like playing with the lambs. Blair preferred to feed them. I think was too busy dreaming. And you? Oh, I cooked them for dinner. The lambs, I mean. Oh, the girls were furious. Ask for help if you need it. That spectre's looking for a body. Up there. A gateway to the mythical Aralu, whatever that is. Otherwise, terrible tragedy, dark doings, sick secrets, and a wild guess. Can I just 
join in too? Derelict. Is he really inside? Much better. We're not going that way. There should be a way up here. Did you feel that? It's close. Is luck in here. Time to work, Banisher. A safe harbor. Should we need a moment's peace? Yeah. 
What hides here in the dark? Come out, come out. Is this one familiar to you? Yes. In this book, you'll find the ritual of the Lesser Palingenesis. Huh. The haunting of Caleb Watson comes full circle. Looks like Lammy was trying his hand at translating the ritual into common English. This is poor work, as we suspected. No wonder the ritual he spawned for Caleb from those botched words of power went wrong. He doesn't speak well of his dad. Did he seek power? Was he hoping to step out of his father's shadow? If he did, he went the wrong way about it. We need to get to the top floor. Bet we'll find something. You need to see this. No oh, crank. Great. Why did he feel like he needed so much protection? More magic muckery. He wished to disguise his presence, or perhaps to distract from it. It's just a lift. Why is this mechanism so complex? That book, again. The Agrippa. That's not good. Not good at all. What level of not good are we talking about exactly? This book promises eternal life, but the promise is a trap. Let's hope it hasn't been used. was up to, and the signs are not encouraging. You know, I could get to like it underground. The darkness, the gloom, the cool air. Really? No, not really. Not at all. Hell's bones. Another sorrow used as a guardian.
This is over, I might retire. You'd miss it. You know you would. Red, come look. Dead animals, again. Different symbols and magic. Seems they were used as bait. Is this how we got through the Sorrow's vigilance? So, here we are. I suppose now, we step into the void. <sighs> suppose we do. Rituals, void breach, general weirdness. I mean, can't be far. Ghost wards. I cannot manifest. Red. It's awfully calm. Why is it awfully calm? Destroy those ghost wards, if you want me back. you. 
Must I do everything? <laughs> Hulking all the fun. Beware. Wards. An Ariadne's thread leading through the void. Very useful indeed. Oh, very useful right until it falls apart. Then you're stuffed like force meat in a turkey. Creepy hideout. The governor's spawn likes a bit of drama. This one's different. Looks like it died diseased. Some dark sideways magic. It's forbidden. I've read it. Sometimes I worry about you. Ugh. What is this thing? Banisher rule number four. If it oozes, don't touch it. Another botched experiment? It may be native to the void. <laughs> So, you can see me. Aren't you full of surprises, young Master Hasker? You may talk. A banisher ghost. Amazing. How on God's earth did you find me? Never mind that. Thank the Lord you did. Thought I was going to grow old in here. Were you stuck in here? In the Aralu? Originally, I was searching for the source of the poisoning. I may have overestimated my talents. Still, an amazing place to be stuck in, no? Tell me, how did you get past the Guardian beneath the mill? Did you use a decoy? We fought it. Don't change the subject. You fought it? Of course you did! A good thing, too. I was starting to think it was wise to me tricks. Oh, but I have so many questions. This isn't a social call, kid. And we're the ones with the questions. Oh. Oh. Of course. From the looks of this place, you're knee-deep in research. What are you doing here, exactly? Searching for the origin of the Harrow's Plague, of course. And I have a theory on the subject. Of course you do. Go on, then. Now, at first, I believed the water poisoned, but my father sealed the well, and yet folk remained sick. 
They looked for witchcraft, a foolish, uneducated suspicion, yes, but with some truth concealed behind it. You see, the Aralu taints New Eden. Its influence leeches into the Harrows. The evidence is everywhere. Can you prove that? Where's your evidence? In New Eden, the threshold between our plane and this is thin. Even I, a novice, may reach the frontier and then go beyond. I also believe it happened before. Some years ago, New Eden was hit by another epidemic. Was it the same illness? I believe that first epidemic was caused by the porosity of the frontier between New Eden and the Aralu. Although, where theirs was an affliction of burning flesh, ours is a corruption of mind and spirit. And I believe I have found its source. There is a substance, a strange ooze. You may have noticed it. This, I believe, is the true source of the Harrow's poison. It carries a particular stink, on the scent of which I experience first confusion, then a loss of control over my limbs. What do you expect to find at the source of the ooze? To find a cure. The ooze seeps into our world, sickening us. I may be able to stop it. Unfortunately, I cannot reach the source. The Aralu is a formidable place. Tricky. A maze constantly evolving, changing, reshaping itself. The Isthmus, for example. I found an oozing crack in the ground. The terrain then remade itself, and I can get to it no longer. Perhaps we might be able to find a way through and take a look at that source. Would you? That would be splendid. Would you mind taking notes? You see ghosts. You stroll the void as if it were your garden. You possess and share forbidden rituals. Who are you really? I'm Lammy Haskell, and I'm a man of many sciences. I am, in fact, a true pursuer. That raises more questions than it answers. What are the pillars of the universe? Which principles underpin existence? As occultists, do we change the world or scratch upon its surface? Each discipline I embrace peels back a new layer of reality. I'm yet at the beginning and see where I already stand. Amazing, no? Are you a demonologist like your father? More or less. Less, more so. My father sees occultism through the eyeglass of his faith, but I know better. So, more so? If you don't share your father's faith, what do you believe? I believe in the afterlife. The proof is about us. And if the void embodies eternal despair, there must too be a place of hope. I ask myself, where? Your father is convinced a witch poisoned his well. Caleb Watson was cursed by a ritual you gave him. I'd focus if I were you. We must counter the devil with knowledge of his tricks. That, my father always said, is the purest of God's work. Uh, I can imagine your father saying that. When I was ten, he gave me my initiation. Demonology, sir, as he would say. He saw me as his heir. Then, of a sudden, the books were forbidden. So I stole them, the very same books he'd forced upon me as a boy. I understand them, but he does not. I did no wrong, apart from a little theft. Let's go take a closer look at that ooze, then. And with that sorrow gone, I can leave. Do be careful. My home is your home. If you need anything, help yourself. The Aralu is not your home, Lamy. But thank you. Uh, oh, what is this thing? Banisher rule number four. If it oozes, don't touch it. Another botched experiment? It may be native to the void. And there, we should get going. 
so. The pious governor's unassuming son is our evil Harrow's witch. The more powerful the loose cannon, the more dangerous it is. Huh? I don't know that I buy Lamy's hair of the dog theory, but I feel strange, and I suspect the ooh. Oh, God. I need a wee bit of help here. Take care. The place is warded. Much better. Did we miss a few? It's like a festering wound. How delightful. Let's see what lies on the other side. Underground, looks like. Wonderful. The ooze affects the incarnate, too. <gasps> Who goes there? Is that a ghost? I don't know. But I don't think we're alone. What might you be then? What was innocence? Oh, shite. Did you, did you just say shite? You. It's bigger than I thought it'd be. Is that a house from the Harrows? We may be below the well. No wonder they all got sick. This house belonged to a certain Antipas and Clemency Gibbs. Their land was barren. They were struggling for money. Look up. The ooze... Uh, oozed through the very stone. Mr. and Mrs. Gibbs, have you read my paper? I read it, aye. And then I washed my hands and prayed for grace. 
You claim to prove that there is no curse. Well... A witch would say that, wouldn't she? Wherever people gather to live, disease takes hold, and I believe... What are you doing? Your evil lies shall be destroyed. We know who you are, and you shall be judged. Witch! They were determined to do for her. She built a case for her rationality, and they tore it apart. And of all of them, just this one house fell down. Maybe it was personal. Could this house have been targeted by the ooze? Obviously. Look around you. Mrs. Gibbs, I presume.
father's shadow. What do they want? Red, something is keeping me from manifesting. In here? Ah, oh, shite. Take care. The place is warded. I see a ghost ward. What are they doing here? Yeah. If wisps did they come back to bite, I'd almost feel sorry for these ones being caged. What are they? Better. You're welcome. Now let's inspect the body. Startled by a wisp in Ag. <laughs> expected no less from you, Mrs. Gibbs. Did we miss a few? Clemency Gibbs blamed the epidemic on a witch. Come from New Eden time with the governor. That's not what the woman they accused was saying. Well, the Gibbs are not at home to rational explanations. Either the water table is full of ooze, or there's another source. Let's search upstream. I... Over there. Oh, loose of little buggers.
Something has me. Wards. I can't worry. The whispers say the same things over and over. What kind of entity would be so obsessed? I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. Watch out! Spectre position! Die, you bastard! Watch out! Spectre possession! Try this on. This looks perfectly drinkable. Famous last words. Why hasn't the poison spread to the groundwater? Perhaps it shifts and shapes, like the void. Well, at the very least, it shifts. Looks like the ooze comes from a distinct source. This whole country is rotten to the core. And you're just now reaching this conclusion? If I wanted your opinion, I'd give it to you. Perhaps if you gave me the space to have one, then we'd both be better off. Someone came through here, someone real, not just a shadow. Whoever it was, it looks like the ooze got him. What do you think, Antea? You wanted the space to have your own opinion. I'm giving it to you. This must be Antipas Gibbs. Hell of a fall to live through. Now join in any time, Antea. What do you think I'm doing? This is God's land. How could we let a witch come to our community? Instructing our children, no less. Tis no surprise. New Eden brims over with backsliders. The governor, chief amongst them. Aye. Many had to sicken and die for him to act. But the deed is not yet done. 
We must fight the Lord's good fight and cast the devil out for good. Many want to try the witch, aye, and many want to see her dead. Can I join in too? Help if you need it. Those things came from the ooze. They're like those oriental shapeshifters we fought in Bremen. Or oh, back, the Gibbs were so angry. Pure entitled bigotry. Maybe they were affected by the ooze. I mean, we've been snapping at each other since we got here. Something's toying with us. I think they made the ooze. I don't think the ooze made them. This is it. This is the source. How do we get to it? Someone's left us a fire camp to use. Something tells me this is the condemned well. Do you think you could get that bucket down? The bucket is tainted. left a fragment of their past here. A strong memory clings to this place. The devil still breathes to her mouth. We are cursed, and you are stalling. Clemency, Antipas, please. The woman has been jailed. As per custom, she will face trial and justice will be brought to this community. Coming from a magic user himself. But can you or your demonologist discernment really be trusted? How dare you insinuate such blasphemy? I'm a man of faith. God commands of you. Governor, we ask for safety. If we do not get it, there will be consequences. The governor used Urim and Thummim, and that made his flock suspicious. Divination stones. He must have thrown them down the well when he sealed it. Why now? Hiding the evidence, perhaps, of his role in the witch trial. 
they connected him to the demonology he used to reinforce his authority. That echo proves that things were getting out of hand. For his son's safety and his own, Haskell must have feared the suspicious mob. Speak, so you listen. Impudence, provocation, read the charges. Let ruin the prey. You have blood on your hands and witness in your heart. Guilty. Swords of vanquish evil. You conspired with witches. Sworn to punish all ghosts. Instead, you embrace one. The charges. Cowardice, oath breaking, deception. The verdict. Guilty. The sentence. And hereafter. I only seek the truth. myself. Standing by. I never wanted this. I hate the very thing I've become. You won't do that again. This just won't do. You 
I don't think we will. Enough. Can we please get out of here? That was awful. This trial. It was as if Deborah wanted us to face what she had faced, but all I feel is beaten. I feel powerless. I will always one move behind. Justice miscarried here. Of course. That's it. I know what that was. Such spectre of injustice has a name. The mythical infamy. I've only read about them. They're so rare, most think them a myth. Ignorance caused this. A raging epidemic drove them out of their minds. Unable to look within, they pointed the finger. And so a terrible ghost was born, and sickness piled on sickness. Haskell has so much to answer for. Seems to be stuck. Look. 
startled by a wisp in Akashus. Never gonna let me live that one down, are you? That down there, it was, uh, I was tense. I was impatient. Me too. That infamy really got to us. Years of anger coursed through me. Yet now I can't even remember why. Me neither. This is what an infamy does. It's over now. We're here. I said something to hurt you. I'm sorry. I forgive you. And I hope that you forgive me too. The Lord knows. My friend. The Lord's promise of salvation from hell pleases them. The Lord's salvation from misery and sin here on earth does not. This doesn't look like salvation from misery and sin. The wicked pray for deliverance from the fires of hell while piling the kindling high. They proclaim their love for their Lord, yet in his name they serve themselves. Their self-regard crumbles in the light of their hateful iniquities. So, so true. Mr. McCraith. My friend, I'm so glad you agree. Now the wicked man never questions- I have your answers. What? Yes, good. Perhaps we should discuss this privately, if you'll give me just a moment. Yeah, it's quite the story. You might not wish to hear it. Neither may the good people hear. Please, this is not the time. We want to hear the story. Let the Banisher speak. Tell them, Red. Tell them good. Ah, there's a story that starts with a question. A question for you, Governor. And maybe for all the good people of New Eden. If I give you a witch, will you do what you did to Deborah Comenius? Comenius, say you? The school teacher walked with the devil and paid the appropriate price. That's the beginning of the history and also its end. Is it, though? Now, I've learned much about Deborah Comenius and what happened to her, and it tells a very different tale. And what story, pray you, does it tell? It tells the story of a woman, a teacher, living peaceably among friends until there came a plague. In fear, the good people went to their governor. The devil walks among us, they said, and you must save us or we will find someone who will. This governor knew he could not save them, but he could give them a witch. She would confess or she would be judged. Deborah Comenius was a witch, Mr. McCraith. She was the devil's tool, and worse, much worse. The trial was not fair. You had no proof, and you knew it. Credible witnesses gave believable testimony, sir. Witnesses like Gibbs, who pressured you into a guilty verdict to avoid being suspected of witchcraft yourself. There was pressure, I'll not deny it. But I did what I did to protect the colony. It was a difficult time. 
The picture of yourself that you hold in your mind is that of a great occultist. To repel the devil, the wise and fearless man must learn the Black Spy's tricks. Do you then consider yourself a true demonologist? In order that a war be just, three things are necessary. Firstly, the authority of the sovereign. Secondly, a just cause. Thirdly, a rightful intention. Aye, the Summa Theologiae of St. Thomas Aquinas, a classic quote from which you have conveniently omitted an important detail, to wit, a just cause is required, namely that those who are attacked should be attacked because they deserve it on account of some fault. Have you ever wondered what lies beyond the veil, past the hem, beyond the invisible? Have you ever heard of the Aralu? What gibberish is this? No. Your good friend Etienne Roulet did not, it seems. They knew worthy of his secrets. <laughs> yeah, never mind. You're a pompous coward, fearful of anyone different, as human as that is. There must be a man to judge, or there is no order. A man to make the judgment, and a man to enforce it. Of all people, you know this. I live and let live. I choose only for the dead. I choose for the living. These people are sinners, sir, and must be led back to the light. This is my mandate, my duty. What do you really want, Governor? I wish only to serve. I am the trusted servant of the good people of New Eden. Without me, they're lost. Without them, you would be lost. Yes. Maybe I do need them. A very human of me. But these people undoubtedly need me, Mr. McCraith. And there is no one else. Admit it. You toy with magic. You don't understand. You, sir, are jealous. I, sir, am tired. I've done my job, fulfilled my contract. I've found the source of the curse. The poison below the well is no more. No thanks to you! Aha! Poison it was then! The weapon of the wicked, to weaken the people's will. What was it? Belladonna? Hemlock? Foxglove? Betrayal! Truth unspoken! Secrets and lies! Wrongs, basically! Your wrongs! The wrongs you visited upon Deborah Comenius! The wrongs that led to her death! She died at the hand of the body politic. She died at all our hands. Most of all, she died at her own. She died because she would not submit. T'was not my plan to kill her, stupid, stubborn woman. Why did she not confess? I would have granted clemency. I would have shown her mercy. You had the power to stop the madness, but instead you chose to let it run all the way to its barbaric conclusion. You brought the curse down on New Eden. Then you called we banishers in to fix your mistake. You boast of your knowledge of demons and spirits, but in truth, you master nothing. You're a peacock. All show and no meat. I'm not here today to bring justice. But this man, your governor, brought death to your doors. <laughs> he deserves blaming. And shame on me if I don't do it. Oh, it's best. No. Oh. Friends, have I ever not served the interests of our community? 
Have I not protected you? Have I not loved you? For good! Far from it. Then, who will protect us? I will. While Mr. McCraith fights the curse of New Eden, I will protect the people of the Harrows. Or at least, I'll try. Now let's all return to our homes and pray for forgiveness and uh, the strength to bear the consequences of our actions. Your fee. One of the many debts my father left me. You'd best put your own debts first, young Master Haskell. Don't I know it? I hate this place. Rest up, then please, let's get out of here. You're angry. Can tell. Of course you can. Aren't you angry? I'm more... disgusted. This region is doomed. I know it in my bones. There's no shortage of suffering around here. Ask what's all to that when you ordered Deborah's execution. I know that we're together, and it makes us strong, but I'm still weary. Don't lose yourself. You've done far more than I could ever have asked. I'll do what it takes, and gladly. You need not ask it. The closer we get to my body, to the truth about what happened here, the stronger I feel. My senses rise. It's as if I can taste the silence, smell the scent of wood smoke, feel the warmth of your body, feel Deborah's wrath. I feel it as if it were a part of me. I understand her anger. I feel her rage and can't help but relate to it. But that anger of mine, that fear, I thought when I left home, I'd left them behind. Past is the past. You still get to choose your future. Times like this, old wounds can ache. Seems normal. It's not just that. I thought I'd healed. 
I feel like I've taken ten steps backwards. So much so that the sister I thought was gone for good seems to be winding her way back to me. Your sister. Ayomi Day, wasn't it? No. As a child, before I left Cuba, I had a friend. I chose to call her my sister. That night, the night I died, I dreamed of her. I dreamed of Calendre. Did you go looking for her? Was she near him? It's not beyond the realm of possibility. It's so far beyond the realm of possibility you wouldn't believe it. No, she wasn't there. But I heard her voice. I'd swear on it. How could that be? Dreams can be vivid. It can be difficult to separate them from reality. I was awake, Red. What did you hear her say? I don't know. I don't remember. I think she said we were family. Never to be divided. She's after my job. She can't have it. I'm your family now. Nothing's tearing us apart. No. Not even death. Thank you for being the kindest soul I've ever met. Thank you for being the bravest. Ceridian? Holy shit. Hurry, please. Ceridian, what's wrong? Come, hurry. I need you on the island. I don't think she can hear us. We need to go back to the swamps. Was that really Ceridian? How did she pull that trick? I think maybe she used the invisible to speak to us through the crow. But it doesn't work both ways. Imagine having a conversation with someone far away. Can you feel it? I have goosebumps. If I bruise the bud so the spectres inside show themselves, you could shoot them. Once freed, the ivy should quickly wither. We can get to that ivy from the other side. The wards have weakened. Ceridian's power wanes. Nobody's home. I can feel it. Who oh, there? Where could they be?
crows. They flock to that great tree up there. The banishers are here. Already? How unfortunate. You called us. Did I? I thought I had more time. In the end, it runs out for all of us. As I depart this old carcass, I leave no burning heart behind. Go or stay. To prevail, you must first set your heart at peace. When at last you face the nightmare, you must both be clear on what you want. You must... What do you mean? It is not for me to give you answers. Only to prepare you for what awaits. Then we can all go to sleep. Seeker doesn't hate you, Rory. She's just not used to being trusted. Protect her for me. You're too late, old moss head. As ever. Look to me. Focus on his army, Banisher!
Mossad is no more. He'll never drink from your skull now, will he? Another ancient promise broken. now. You're all I ever had and all I'll ever have. <laughs> Can I set the world on fire now? I just want to see it burn. A pity. Farewell, then. She took me in when my father, when no one else wanted me. She taught me to stand up straight. Leave her be. For now. Hmm. I'm tired of all this death. Want to talk about it? I will do. Yours. The roots are mine. Not a most fancy moon garden. Trust me, you don't want a garden. Seeker now. She'll try to make sense of her pain. Or perhaps she'll sit with it a while. If she has regrets, she must tame them. 
grief knows no rule book. When I returned from the war, I walked the wet streets of London for a long time. All I could feel was my heart digging a hole deep inside my chest. After what I had seen, what I had done, I just wanted the pain to stop. I wanted oblivion. You were at your lowest. We all lived through our own rock bottoms. You pulled yourself through. I drowned myself in ale. You're the one who pulled me out. Poetic, if melancholic. What's going on, Red? I'm losing my grip. Sliding away, slipping through my own fingers. I've come so far. I don't want to go back. Red Rory McGraith, blood-soaked and vicious. Belongs in the past. I fear his return. For you to live. I swore to reap the essence of the living. And if I succeed, I must live with my sins. If I fail, I must show them a girl. And I don't know. I can carry the weight. Are we sure about what we are doing? Are you sure this is what you want? We made an agreement. Are you having second thoughts? I don't know. Maybe. Ceridian's death has changed things for you. Yeah. She had power. Purpose. She had love and she still chose to leave. Maybe she's right. Should we reconsider? It may not be too late to change our minds. But you must promise me, Red, whatever we decide, we stick to it. We cannot change our minds again. I swear it, my love. This is it. are set. We're going back. Thank you. Thank me when you're back. Is it worse to lose your faith in your fathers than it is to lose faith in yourself? Those in the harrows who lived would be wise to look inwards, to reflect, and then to pay penance. But none carry a greater burden than young Lamentation Haskell. How will he guide the faltering faithful when he has so little faith in himself?
best for the wicked. You should hurry. have gone out. I suppose Ceridian's magic died with her. These specters are getting more aggressive. Andrea, I miss you. There's that voice again. Ignore it. Push on. I'm talking to you, little sister. Sister. What aren't you telling me? I'm telling you it's dangerous and we need to move on. Feels even more dangerous. That's possible. You're wasting your time. Try this on for size. My father would tell me stories. In the heart of the mountains lived a mystical race who desired only peace. <laughs> I can hear him now. Uh, these mystics, he said, they valued life and used gold only for their mausoleums. All creatures were accepted among them, except the men who were warned to stay away, the bellicose and greedy. Let me guess, they went anyway. Aye, uh, being bellicose, they did. And being greedy, went after the gold. The mausoleums desecrated, the mystics cursed the humans and hid themselves away. And they remind me of Ceridian, who would rest her. Do you see anywhere that could help? Keep searching here. We need to find something else.
The mountains must be rich in ore. It looks a bit rickety. Well, it's built for a team. One man alone should be fine. Should be. Won't budge. A tangle of rope work blocks it up. Not a pleasant way to die. Not a pleasant way to die, is it? Over here. Look. Still stuck. Did you miss a rope down there? These beams look fragile. Well, they hold. Would you rather climb? If it up to me, I wouldn't be here to begin with. Climbed higher or has the weather gotten colder? The nightmare is at work. She's likely using the weather in New Eden to further isolate its people. Then once the curse is lifted, the snow will disappear. I think so. Oh, they 
do look annoyed. Ask for help if you need it. Not gonna ask for help? They're feeding off their own world. away are we once more with feeling oh, I hate those things wasn't your first won't be your last Aye, thank you Something's nearby. Where is it? You're not a bad fellow to have around, you know. And your dose, did you? Don't get cocky. There's always more to learn. Key thing about a scourge? Scourge builds itself a body. Right. A scourge will always build a new physical body. Very good. Top marks. Want another? On the nature of a ghost, perhaps? Ghosts leech the essence from those they haunt, sometimes by asking irritating questions. This ghost wants to be sure her man is ready for what's coming. Because if he's not ready, he will die. And that would be bad. Aye, that would be bad. Thank you.
Do you hear that? Over here. Let's follow it. and waiting. I think I heard the sound of a gun call. Can I join in too? Up there. Do you see anywhere that could help? Keep searching here. Follow my voice. Here you are. Good day. My name is Rebecca Hardgrave. How may I help you? Are you the one who's attracting the wolves? Wolves? What wolves? Who are you exactly? I'm Antea Duarte. This is Red McGraith. We're banishers. Do you know what that means? Banishers? That means... You can speak to the living on behalf of the dead. That's part of it, yes. Why, do you have someone in mind? Ferdinando Miller. My Fardy. Death parted us. But my love is strong. I came back for him. I love him so. Not once has he come to see me. I must know why. New Eden's a big place. Where can we find him? We were on our way to Fort Jericho. We were to open a store together. It was to be a new beginning for us both. Together. Yet he's there. Alone. If you know where he is, why not just go there? I've tried. At first I was able to visit him. In the quiet, as he slept, I'd watch over him. But now... Something hinders me. I cannot reach him. I must know that he is well. There's no delicate way to ask this, I'm afraid. How did you die? We left civilization in New Eden Town for the cold desert of Fort Jericho. The path was steep and rough, and we were greatly burdened. It was hell, but we walked through it together. As we walked, I fell into a daze. I remember little after that. A pain that grew, a great, uncontrollable tremor. Fatigue, a deathly fatigue. Fadi was at my side as ever. He held my hand, bade me sleep. When I opened my eyes, I was here, alone. How did you meet him? It was market day. I'll never forget it. 
It was rich, exotic, an abundance of treasures from across the known world. I saw him through the crowd. Our eyes met. I didn't know it then, but I was meeting the love of my life. I could not admit it to myself, not at first, but I had to have him. And in the end, I did. We have to go now. Find him, please. What are you thinking? It's more of a feeling. Something's wrong. She said he never visited. Why? Was it too painful? Or is it something else? A peaceful place, in different times. Before the Nightmare's influence, you mean? Let's reach the fort, and a fire, and warm you up. I feel a draft. From the invisible. Who's that? Yes. Something's here. Trouble ahead. Spectres are attacking the fort. Take no ground. Hold fire! That fellow's not dead! That's the last one here. Fire. Hugging all the fun. That corpse is gonna shoot. Get 
in its face. Hold there. None in, none out. Not living nor dead. Name's Red McCraith. I'm obviously a banisher. Open the door there. I've business within. Your business is, if you'll excuse my articulating the evidence, not my business. I have my orders. You can't come in. I hear you, friend. What's your name? The name's Andrew White. You seem a pleasant fellow. I like a Scot, me, but standing here, I'm on duty. And when I'm on duty, I'm not your friend. Uh, listen, mate, folk in here have problems enough, and I can't be disobeying orders. Either Priest or Pennington would have my guts, and I fancy neither. Who is this Priest? May I speak with him? Him is a her. Helen Priest ain't here. She's on an excursion to the outpost, searching for supplies. Now, you want to lend a hand? Mrs. Priest and her party are overdue. You can't miss the outpost. It looks out across the valley. If you could find her, and make sure she doesn't die, you'd surely gain her favor. And favor, as they say, opens doors. Get in a fight and find your boss and dig her out of whatever hole she's in. All right. I can do that. They have Spectre troubles. Let's first clear the nearby nest to relieve the fort, then deal with the missing. How holds the fort? How holds the fort? Precariously, that's how. Our strength dwindles, and we'll soon run out of powder. Priest took Williams and that other fella, and off they went scavenging for supplies. They've not yet returned. It's dangerous out there. The scavenger may easily become the carrion. Heard any good scuttle lately? The dead are coming, and you want to gossip. <laughs> I admire your sang Freud, and that's the Lord's truth, but now, sir, is not the time. Right. I'll likely be back. Find our friends, Banisher. Or put them to rest. I'll try. As soon as I take care of the Spectre's nest, I'll go looking for the outpost. Death knocks at their gates. This is no wonder they won't open. They don't have a choice. Another attack may overrun them. The nest might be near. There's a trail to follow in the snow. More coming. Come and get your breakfast, boys. Get out of there! These pests don't spring from nowhere. I'm stuck. Looks like you're walking. Looks like.
On for size. That's the place. Fill in the hole. Bury them all. I should buy the fort a little time. Let's hope it's not too late for the famous Mrs. Priest. I wonder how many there are in the fort. If you were by the day, I'll wager. Still, better to be inside than out. I have another in sight. Wash with spectres. Did the foraging party really come this way? That would explain why they haven't returned. Something's nearby. Where is it? Help us, please! We have a survivor! Come!
This one's not been dead long. Hmm. Let's hope he stays that way. I have another in sight. Don't just stand there. Move! They never learn, do they? Timely arrival. You'll be Haskell's banishers. Thank you. Thank you both. You can see me. Clear as day, just as I can see. This is my husband. I am Helen Priest. And Thea Duarte. This is my partner, Red McGraith. It is rare that the living can see the lingering dead. All I know is one day I woke after seven long years of grief, and my Sebastian was back. It was as if my prayers had at last been answered. That was enough for me. In times of danger, I am duty-bound to protect the woman I love. You understand? Seven years. Why come back now? It did not feel like seven years. Suddenly... I felt her pain calling to me. Divine intervention or otherwise, all that matters is that my dear Sebastian is back. Now, when I need him most. We found the rest of your men outside. They're gone. I'm sorry. We were overrun. I sent Matthews and Williams with the supplies to race for the hoist. This was a risky expedition. But Helen had no choice. If the survivors were to rely on Pennington alone, the fort would have already fallen. I suspect that's so. Sometimes difficult choices must be made. That's courage. All the courage in the world will be worthless if those in command won't match it. Pennington did this while monsters relentless besieged the fort. But make no mistake, these men's deaths are on the captain's conscience. If he has one. How so? 
Seven years ago, a plague came to New Eden. Pennington quarantined the sick in the mines, walled them up. They were dark times. Hard times. None knew what the morrow would bring. We all lost much. Too much. As second in command, Sebastian volunteered to stay. Walled in with the others, he held out the longest. He died a hero. And now the Forsaken are rising. They demand revenge. Who would blame them? I watched them die. Soldiers and miners, sick and hungry, begging for help they knew would never come. Captain Pennington has much blood on his hands. Pennington can't have taken his decision lightly. It must have been hard on all involved. Is it harder, to your mind, to send someone to their death than it is to do the dying? We should get back to the fort. We will escort you. I'm afraid I locked us in when I broke the latch. If there's a way out, we'll find it. Soldiers usually carry their ghosts with them. War is good for our business. I take it that's how you met. I know a soldier when I see him fight. I never worked for the army, but something like that. Sympathies. didn't like him, why did you follow him? I followed his reputation, but he's no longer the same man. What would you do in his place? I'm doing it. He sits behind his walls waiting for them to fall, and I'm out here fighting to live. We're fighting for our lives, and the captain is in the way. These internal conflicts are a risk for the stability of the fort. A necessary risk for the survival of all. But I agree, this must end. You may leave the crates. I'll send someone back for them. Yeah, the path should be quiet. We cleared the area of the Spectre's Nest. Well, that's a relief. Follow me. Waiting for! Open the gates! Go talk to Pennington. Make him understand, if you can. 
Where can I find him? He hides in his office. We'll find him there. Where are the others? Williams and the other chap? Matthews. We were ambushed. They fell. May God have mercy on their souls. Captain Bennington. No time. No way out. No hope. No way in. No time. No time at all. Captain Bennington, sir. Mr. McGrath, you live. There's work to be done. Work? You had work, a mission. To bring one last glimmer of hope, to gladden our hearts before the pit takes us all. You secretive bastards haven't helped. The job is done. There's no more hope and little enough time. All that remains is the pit. Welcome to the last stand, McGrath. Welcome to the end. I wouldn't surrender just yet, Captain. I found Helen Priest. We brought supplies. A waste of effort on both accounts. Hardly. We saved a life. Resupplied, you may save more. For the sake of what? For the sake of days? A week, perhaps? You save no one. You prolong the terror. The dead will come. Our throats will feel their bony fingers soon enough. The end is inevitable. It is if you will not act. You're the officer. Take command. Surely you can't intend to do nothing. You sound like Priest. She has changed. Her return to Fort Jericho has made her impulsive, irrational, quarrelsome. I believe she did not fully grieve her husband's loss. Returning to the scene has, it seems, reopened the wound. It festers. She'll join the lieutenant soon enough. When our defences crumble at the last, the pit shall take us all. How do things stand, Captain, as you see them? Uh, little has changed. The dead flood from the mines. We shoot them down and gain respite. Soon, the onslaught begins anew. The clock of our extinction ticks on towards the hour. We may no more defeat the dead than we may vanquish the ocean waves. You must at least try. We lack much, yet we are still alive. How is that, do you think? We owe to the last. We resist, till retribution rises from the pit and drags us all to hell. Well, that's something worth waiting for. I fail to see the appeal of this slow agony. How unfortunate. Because thanks to you and the time you bought us, 
the agony will be all the slower. Permission to take my leave, Captain. And if I refuse it? Are you trying to recruit me, Captain? Do you really think I'd take the King's shilling? <laughs> if I were to offer enough shillings, I'm sure of it. I need no new lieutenants. But if you wish, you may stay. This key unlocks the unused watchtower. You'll build it while you're here. On one hand, a captain beaten by the world. On the other, his rival, haunted and mutinous. In a fort besieged by vengeful spectres. Helen worries me. Sebastian's return has lit a fuse. How often, Abigail, must we have this fight? How often must we argue? We shall argue until you hear me. I hear you all too well. I hear a hoggish harrogate, a narrow knack, a, a store. Tree. Bernando's? Closed. We're in the right place. Trap. Anyone home? No one. Papers in Miller's name. We're in the right place. Keep looking. Fardy reads English extensively. Well, nobody's perfect. He's making protective amulets. He's making useless trinkets. And he works hard to keep it away. What is he afraid of? What don't we know? Let's search the store. Surprisingly high quality wares. Can't be many left in New Eden. Rebecca's will. She was rich. She left him a lot. That's where he got the inventory. Touch my money and I'll drop you. What are you doing here? Thieving, no doubt. I'm no thief, Mr. Miller. I'm the Banisher. I brought Helen Priest back to the fort. A Banisher? Thieves lie. How do you know my name? It is my business to know. Red McCraith. If you are a Banisher of ghosts, I have business for you. I'll pay. Aye. I know about Rebecca. It was she who sent me to find you. She worries for you. Says she loves you. The English have a word for that. Hogshite. If not for love, why did she bequeath you her fortune? Whichever. It matters not. You're a banisher. It is your job to get rid of her. Can you not just do your work? Easy, Mr. Miller. Now, I'll need to examine Rebecca's belongings. I sold them. All of them. You did? To who? I don't know. People. I wrote it down. In the register. Read it, if you wish. You've put quite the effort into protecting your home, haven't you? You poked about my house without my say-so. I know my business. So out of generosity, here's the truth. None of it works. 
not the wreath, not the amulet. None of it works. Pretty, though. His brooch is working. It works. She hasn't come back. I can sleep now. I hear her calling, whispering my name. I wait to find her at my bedside. Our eyes meet. She stares. She won't leave me alone. She's an Akishi, a demon. Banish her. I'll pay you. I need a job. I accept. Farewell to you, Mr. Miller, sir. You know where to find me. If you're buying, I'm selling. He'd sold it all. Everything she'd owned. And fast. Mm, why the hurry? If we track her things down, perhaps they'll tell us. Ingersoll store and the blacksmith. Noted. Greetings. Welcome to Ingersoll's general store. I'm Bathsheba Ingersoll, the owner. What can I get you? A comb, perhaps? A comb. <laughs> Very funny. Red McCraith, I'm pleased to meet you. Oh, please get the comb. Ferdinando Miller sold you a few things recently, right? May I have a look? You may, yes. Though I doubt they'd be much use to you. Unless you've got a knack for art. Mr. Miller mostly sold me paintings. You can't miss them, they're the only ones I have. I must take my leave. And may God go with you. Pretty. The work, I mean. Not our ghost tie, though. Let's try the forge. Good day to you, John. McCraith. Thank you for your time, John. Lord bless and keep you. Tis no rant, woman. Pennington's backbone is gone, and we're all suffering. The captains of war. A note? Respect. Let's see. Ferdinando was a slave. She was his owner. Go to hell. Tell your captain. She kept that quiet. As if it were of no consequence. We know where to go. The barrack room. Drop the quill resonates. An echo, perhaps. I only recognize my name in the list. Distant family, but I can't disinherit them. I would never ask you that. To have met you is already more than I ever expected. If I was to lose you, God forbid, I cherish all that reminds me of you. If you were to lose me, 
All that I own would now be yours. He claimed not to love her. Why lie? Maybe he did once, and now he doesn't. Let's see what he has to say about it. Banisher? Rebecca was in love with you. The feeling was not mutual. True? I was her pet. A dog nuzzling its master, hoping she might loosen its leash. She loved me, she said. I allowed her to think I loved her back. I sat up and begged and let her pet me. I was a very good boy. You gulled her, then took advantage. To a slave, a crumb of freedom tastes like a loaf. You'd have done no different. And I do the same again. And you faked your feelings for Mistress Argrave. You gained much more than freedom. Rebecca made you rich. As she lay dying, Rebecca Hargrave gave me my freedom. Before that, I was her slave. How very romantic. If it weren't for the captain, the good people of New Eden would have let me die too. Enough chitter-chatter. Perhaps you should get back to work. What am I paying you for? I'm a banisher, Mr. Miller. Not a rat catcher. Ghosts were human. They're emotional. Full of hopes and fears about the past and the future too. To find out what ties the ghost to the living and end the haunting, I must know the story. You want me to finish the job? Then the story must be told. The ghost must manifest. I do not like this idea. This idea can shit itself six times by sundown. Come on, break the brooch and let's get it over with. No choice remains. Let it be done and I'll be done with it! Step no closer. I, I don't understand. Are you not glad to see me? Now, Punisher, end this. Not now. You need to hear the truth, both of you. That reminds me. Rebecca, you omitted to tell us that Ferdinando was your slave. That you owned him. I loved him. I was a slave. I was not free to leave. You've... What kind of love is that? What are you saying? We loved each other. Love? <gasps> no. I told my master what she wanted to hear. I gulled her with a lie. I thought you were a fool. But no, you believed me because you wanted to. Yet you didn't believe me, did you? Not entirely. That's why you never freed me. I loved you, and you loved me. It was but a piece of paper. A piece of paper and a guarantee. I needed a guarantee. You don't know what love is. You know only fear. You fear being undesired, being unnoticed, being alone. How very human of you, Mistress Hargrave, but hardly an excuse to own a man. Well, time to give this love story an ending. Ferdinando Miller, the world forced you into a lie. You lived it to the full, and in the end it brought a haunting upon you. You are the tie that holds this ghost here. No! Leave him be! She's a ghost. Get rid of her! Wait. No. No! You can't take me! You don't own me! I am a free man! 
I have done nothing wrong. No. But I have. To hell with it. Your world is no place for men like me. You don't understand. You can't understand. I chose to cheat. You chose to kill. Which of us, Banisher, deserves death? Could be worse. Could be underground. Vanishes. May I have a word? Helen, something wrong? Apologies for disturbing your rest. I'm afraid it can't wait. What did you think of the captain? I saw an officer alone. A proud man turned to stone, perhaps by years of war. I saw a broken man. I did not see the tyrant you described. Inaction is tyranny. He will not act, but nor will he get the hell out of the way. I do not disagree, but the captain needs help. I too was a soldier, broken and haunted. With Anthea's help, I recovered. Pennington may need the same. Leave Pennington to me. The good folk of the fort need your help. You are banishers. The dead, you'll have noticed, hammer at the gates. I would like you to go into the mines and find out what enrages them so. I would like you to do what the captain will not. And while we deal with the hordes of angry spectres, what shall you be doing? When the mines are purged, I'll oust Pennington. Where do we go? There is a second tunnel into the mines. The entryway was walled shut during the quarantine. Getting there will not be easy. But the barricade should fall without too much difficulty. After that, who knows? Underground again. Wonderful. If it soothes you, I too am taking a significant risk. The captain has a penchant for locking people up and leaving them to rot. Some years ago in New Eden Town, the captain locked up an innocent woman. A fate I wish to avoid. Pennington the Jailer. Do you speak of Deborah? What did he do? I was away from New Eden Town at the time. Rumours said she was a witch, I later heard. And so too did the captain. The court agreed. Who knows what urges drove the captain then? He is a secretive man, and always has been. We should go. Then it's agreed. When you're ready, you'll investigate the mines. Take the hoist to the waterfall, near the outpost you first found me. From there, it is not far to the tunnel. Keep your wits and all your luck about you. An innocent woman, Jane. I mean, as wolf belts go, it's pretty. 
I'd have more than enough of them. Vulcan Strange. Not short the wolf. captain doesn't strike me as a petty tyrant. Helen is right. The truth lies down there, somewhere. I suspect Deborah is at it again. Ready for another ride? Circumstances aside, this is quite romantic. Swarming hordes of spectres aren't to your liking. They are if I'm with you. Not as romantic as you'd thought, eh? Maybe now's the time to ask you to marry me. Try it, and I'll cut the rope. View. Every morning I wake to a better one. You try to join me, lady. I'll warn you. It's a bit more luck. These remains call for a ritual and a lot of caution. My voice commands you! Unveil! Think you could take on a ghost? Another in sight. Reinforcements. Let's get 
back up. Possession incoming. What is lurking here? Time to work, Banisher. Blocked. This isn't working. Reinforcements! from the invisible. I feel something close. No roots. Just how I like it. Vanishes. I see you found your way. Sebastian, what are you doing here? Difficult though it be to walk these dark tunnels, I'll guide you as best I can. You sure you want to come? You don't have to. I must. For Helen. What shall we find down there? The rage of the Forsaken. They trusted him. He betrayed them. He abandoned them. I doubt they can be placated. We'll be seeing you. Very good. Whenever you're ready. Not far now, till you find what you need. I hope. Pity. I was enjoying this wee promenade. Everything all right? Let's just get this over with. Ah! 
I know. Pennington ordered the barricades fast. I bid Helen farewell. That must have been hard. A soldier is called to sacrifice. Wasn't I always? By sickness or thirst, died of despair. Which one took you? Despair. Most definitely. These tunnels go surprisingly deep. In its heyday, it was quite the operation. Car upon car rose to the surface, piled high with ore. I feel an echo ringing, like a hum. I told Gray the tunnels were hellish hot. But Wilson says he can't do much about it. Keep feeding the furnace, says he, if you want your meager pay. <laughs> that sounds nasty. You all right? Fancy working here with the furnaces running. The work men did here was meant to make new and rich. Red, there is something wicked placed upon this. I can sense it. You can just sense it? It's hidden, even for me. But I can hear its dark will. Like a curse, or a spell. A curse or a spell, eh? Maybe Seeker could help us with this. Miners abandoned their work when sickness hit. They worked till they could work no more. a strong spectral presence down there. A lot of us died down here. What the hell was that? Uh-oh. Friend. 
Stay on your feet, Red. Nice of you to join us, Sebastian. Care to explain what the hell we just heard? I... I can't. What now? Uh, I say we push past the blockade. Follow me, please. What's this? A makeshift checkpoint. The halfway mark. Are they expecting to face a regiment? Okay. We knew the dying would try to fight. We had to keep them from infecting the rest. Charming. Can't blame a man for wanting to make it home alive. This isn't over yet. Stay on your feet, Red. This miner was shot. Was there a mutiny? There was. We failed. Why did you not mention this before? My heart felt apologies. I suppose the memory was just too painful. This is no ordinary spectre, that's for sure. Perhaps in our pain, screaming to be free, we may change. More importantly, how do we break them? I see a weak link. If you need it, watch out. Spectre possession. Watch your step. Enforcement. Not going to make this easy for me then.
Submit. I'm right here, you know. Ready and waiting. Red, look at this. What's that mark mean? I've seen it in books. Necromancy. Corpse raising, spirit control, that kind of thing. Ever heard of a ghost able to raise the dead and control them? I thought they were myths. Perhaps I was wrong. But we do our work. Come on, let's break these chains. Voices from the past. Here, Red, come look. Here, uh, here, I found something. Shall we? Spectral stains block the mechanism.
picking up something spectral nearby. Voices stay in this place. Lay down your weapon, Prospector, and stand away. I'll not say it twice. Hear me! I'm not your fool! Obey the order. Put the pickaxe down! Your uniform would protect your son. Your officer will bury us all! He'll bury us all! He'll bury us all. He meaning Pennington, right? Who else? The chain goes that way. Could you reach it by those carts?
Watch out. Spectre position. This isn't over yet. That Spectre's looking for a body. Sebastian, what is this place? It's not... It's... It's only... The people were angry. And for good reason. Rebel camp. this? A black market shopping list? Can't be. We had few rations. Many starved. All right, Sebastian, fess up. What's going on? What matters is that Pennington must pay. There is nothing else! Sebastian Priest, in the mine you were to tend to the sick. Instead, you afflicted them. What? No. This is a, a heinous lie. I gave my life for it. You turned into a tyrant until revolt emerged among the exhausted survivors. They, they, they must have gone mad down in the dark. Their, their rage found a target in me, the, the captain's man. I died innocent. I, I died a hero. You lied to yourself, to your men, to us. You lied to your wife. Why did you really come back? I didn't. I, I never did that. It's not me. It's all a lie. I love Helen with all my heart. And it was me. You must make Pennington pay for his crimes. You'll not get away with this, Sebastian. Come back here, you coward. I don't think he's coming back. Path is clear. We go deeper. I can't believe Sebastian lied to us all. To Helen. Is this why the creature is angry? Perhaps. Sebastian has been punished at all costs, and I'm not sure why. Christ, where are we now? Left to die in sickness and starvation. Helen was right. This was an atrocity. But she blamed the wrong man.
I need a better angle. I can help. Need me to give that roadblock a little push? Go there. The sight of them makes me wonder if their resistance was even worth it. It's their bodies, nothing but silence for your answer. What do you think? That body. These must be Sebastian's remains. Curious. The priest said he was the last to die. Said he shot himself when hope ran out. But someone stole this fella's head in with a pike. This was no romantic suicide. This was bloody mud, though. Plus, there's no ghost tie. And look, the mark from before. No ghost tie. So why did he not pale and become a spectre like the rest? Sebastian told Helen a story. His prominent chest wound was part of it. But it's a fiction. He spun her a lie. I'm starting to doubt the lieutenant's ghost. I think it's an effigy of Sebastian sent to get close to Helen. Maybe even to Pennington. Not a spectre. Something more elaborate. But what? And why? Sebastian is a doll. Stuffed with stolen memory made by whatever lurks down here. It's leeching Helen's essence. We must tell her. Whatever about Helen. First we need to find the doll maker. Must I do everything? Uh, Get rid of the other spectacles. Uh, uh, You're wasting your time on this one.
we'll soon be out together. A little boy and me would appreciate you staying close. Stink has long since gone, but I swear I smell it anyway. Getting close. Shelter, if you need a fire to warm you up. Chains, an echo, I think. Skulks down here, Pennington's presence gives it life. Another ghost rallying the wrath of lesser spectres to its cause. This is about the agony of Deborah Comenius. Aye, and the guilt of the people of New Eden. Can you see it? Not yet. I hear you. And have you returned? if we do. You're Deborah, right? Pennington had you arrested and clapped you in chains. A broken pub. 
Locked away, forgotten, down in the dark. Lift the heavy chains from her, free me. If we do, will you talk with us? Done. This is a chance. Her last strike weakens the chains. Free her. Sign. Get over here. This is not pleasant.
so close. You are all I can see the weakenings. It's over. Go in peace. No peace. No pardon. Naught but darkness and decay. No. All this must stop and you must stop it. Dark decay and the maddest words of the worst of men. Whose words? Pennington's? When the maddening silence becomes the darkest night, 
The faintest voice is welcome as the dawn. Deborah. enough minds for a lifetime. Can we go now? What was that thing? A puppeteer. Every dead thing we've met was controlled by its anguish. Sebastian especially. The miners were wronged, but Pennington's dereliction of Deborah is what caused all this. So what now? Pennington had Deborah locked up screaming. When she was dead, he ignored her. He's a disgrace. But Helen Priest is enthralled to a trickster spirit. She can't be trusted either. But eventually, we'll get to take sides. <laughs> What is it? A rush after the fight. He'll pass. It's Sebastian, isn't it? You know I'm me, right? That I'm no puppet. Hi. Do you, though? Hi. My head may say different, but I know it in my heart. Fresh air, at last. You did well down there, young man. Thank you, Master. This is mutiny. It is justice. Justice long denied. Wait. Thought you'd been killed in the mines. Doom blow lie dead in the mines. Neither one more word, nor a move from you. The mines are cleansed of their madness. Which is more than I can say for this room. You banished the thing in a pit. Truly. It's gone. Aye. The puppeteer is no more. The siege is lifted. Get excited. You're still up to your neck in shite. You've still to answer for what you did, and what you did not. I do not answer to civilians, nor to mutineers. You will answer to the dead. Once a woman in chains cried out and you did not listen. This is why you're cursed. Confess. Your future, and the future of many, depends on it. I'll confess there is no future. I'll confess our led us here to make our final stand. And we still stand. To that, I'll confess. And claim the credit. 
We fall one by one. Then we weep, we rage, but we stay loyal and true. Even the widows must stay true. In fear you dither while folk die. Soldiers will not long stay loyal to a coward. I do not fear a future already written. The die is cast. I tither not. I hold. I hold and watch the end unfold. There's more to this. An older guilt. A deeper fear. You may be to blame for the tragedy in the mines, Pennington, or you may not. But the puppeteer wanted you dead. Some years back, you accused a local woman of witchcraft. You locked her up. The puppeteer was quite angry about that. Fairfax Haskell, too, played a part in the killing of Deborah Comenius. He faced up to his wrongs. Now you will face up to yours. At last the die stopped rolling my number has come up. I'll tell it now. I'll tell it all. When you slandered her, you knew there'd be a witch hunt. Why'd you do it? There was no slander. It was true. She was corrupt. She was evil. And she was a school teacher. Someone had to think of the children. It's horse shit, but he seems to believe it. We're getting closer to the truth. You clapped her in irons and threw her in jail. You took her humanity. You recognized her in the puppeteer, didn't you? I'm sorry, puppeteer? That's what was in the mines, wasn't it? And you knew, didn't you? How long, for how long have you known? What I know and you do not would fill a library. Helen is misguided. Under Sebastian's malign influence, she will remain so. Yet Pennington is little better. Which way do you lean? I have faith in Helen Priest. Step down, Captain. Perhaps you may begin to wash your guilt away. Do what you must, and face the consequences. Cast the die. I will. You failed, Captain. As an officer. As a man. You brought a curse upon the people of New Eden. No. The fort needs a leader without blood on her hands. I'll do it. I'll place the blame where it belongs. How Marif, how Gunja. Life to the living. Death to the dead. Seen and done too much as a soldier, a leader, a father. Down with tyranny. Justice prevails. If we are to survive, there is much to do, and survive we shall. For the record, beyond that door, Captain Pennington was tried and executed for his crimes. We did what was needed. The story you tell is up to you.
Looks like the nightmare's curse is lifted here. Job done. So, what now? What did Ceridian say when we first met her? Once we'd weakened the Nightmare's influence, we could use the Void to enter its lair. Deborah's grip on the settlers has diminished. We'll return to Ceridian's island. From there, the Void Breach will take us back to New Eden Town. Just like that, eh? Well, yes, just like that. Something bothering you. But aren't we rushing things a little? We've lost too much time already. We have a nightmare to confront, remember? Sometimes I hate the world. Another free woman, bright, sensitive, kind, murdered by a craven rabble too weak to face its own mediocrity. Cowards hiding behind fake virtue. And for what? They won't even say her name. Why? Why her? You said it yourself. Deborah was a victim of their fear. That's not enough. Her murder was another throw of a dice. Why is it always us who have to pay with our lives? Other innocents have paid the same price. I should know. That's not what I meant, but I'm glad to hear your feelings on it. When I left Cuba, anything could have befallen me. I was bright, free, talented. No, I had the wrong tongue, the wrong sex, the wrong skin. I defied life. I expected so much more from the world. I was arrogant. Arrogant to believe I needed no one. To shut out my mother and experience curandera and listen instead to my sister. Your childhood friend. What happened? I had little and wanted more. A dangerous thing when you have our type of talent. Anything could have befallen me, but it didn't. But something did happen. Something happened to Deborah, and then something happened to you, and now... Now we are both paying that price. You still have your life. What's it worth if it's played by the murder of all those I killed? We made a choice, Rory. You made it willingly. Aye, I did. Look, all this is a lot to endure. We're both exhausted. I know I am. I cannot tire. I know. I know how hard it's been for you. You have no idea. None at all. I'll do my best to understand, if you'll let me. We should have faith. Look at us. We'll get to where we're going. Shut up, Red. Shut up. This isn't about... This isn't about what we have conquered or what we have achieved or how far we have journeyed. Look at us. Look at me. I loathe what I've become. Can't you see that? I was trying to help. <laughs> I'm sorry. Stop apologizing. Good night.
Mantea. Mantea? I would have gone with you. Not funny. I have to walk to the stupid bloody island. Mantea? Please tell me you're here. There you are. Ready to go? I just got here. Can we talk? Why did you leave me alone? You were not alone. Can we go now? How come it's not working? Let's ask Seeker. This all has to end, and I'd rather it was sooner than later. I am doing my best, my love. There's a spectral web here, but it's new. It's stronger, but I think I can do it. This will only take a moment. See? Ah. Well, throwing my weapons through your will is a little unsettling. The spell isn't working. I think she's gone. The incarnate is hidden away here. Stains bar the path. Still no ghostly spectral spiders hiding away in there now. Good. The path is safe for now. Always so reassuring. Why is there a letter from Deborah Comenius here? And who's Grace? No way back to New Eden Town, and no Seeker either. Our only clue points to Kate Newsmith. Maybe she knows this Grace, and where to find her. Shall we dance then? Ready and waiting. If this 
spirit chases were working, we wouldn't have specters. I'd stay to figure it out, but we need to see Kate. Backed by the Banishers, Helen Priest dethroned Captain Pennington. Dark truths were unearthed. Some secrets remain buried. The survivors must now set aside old sins and build themselves lives worth living. But can Helen Priest lead them into the future, chained as she is to her past? I get the feeling folk aren't preparing to leave. Edmund Wraith. I didn't expect you back. I'm working my way back to New Eden Town. There, you're on your own. I'm trying to track someone down, and I was hoping you could help me. I doubt I'll be much use, but I'll help you if I can. So, I found your name in an old letter. It was addressed to someone by the name of Grace. It was written by Deborah Comenius. You're tenacious. I'll give you that. But must you push so? Deborah wrote of a cabin in the woods. Could this Grace person have found it? I don't know. It was all a very long time ago. I had forgotten her. Did Grace ask you for help? No. Grace Pennington vanished. No one ever saw her again. Grace Pennington? As in Captain Saul Pennington? What happened to Grace? I don't know that either. There had been strife with her father. Then she was gone. And the captain spoke of her no more. Deborah wrote the letter in February 1688. When did Grace disappear? Months later, Pennington accused Deborah of being a witch. In my recollection, that moment overshadows all others. Could Grace have survived alone out here in the woods? Possibly. But could she remain unseen? No. All thought she'd left New Eden. Gone west, perhaps, into the wilds. Does the name Seeker mean anything to you? It sounds less a name than a calling, but neither mean anything to me. We done. One more question. Did the school teacher keep a cabin in the woods? Deborah spent much time walking the woods, trying to understand New Eden, she said. Now that you mention it, I remember a snowstorm. She spent three days in a hut not far from here, southeast, across the drawbridge, along the path towards the mine, if it's still there. The settlement seems to be doing well with you in charge. We've made some gains, but we're far from ready to leave. Did you tell them what Thick Skin did? I told them she died hunting the beast. Some are yet in their sullens, but they're better with sleep now the nightmares have stopped. Perhaps them not knowing is for the best. If we are to keep our chins up and leave for good, 
Better they stay in the dark. Still, some troubles yet vex. The bodies of the lost are buried, many without names, but we found tracks. They lead away into the woods. Some may have escaped. I need to know for sure. If they're alive, you mean? Yes. And if they're dead, that they won't be coming back. We need no more beasts. A new scourge is always possible, but very unlikely without the nightmare's influence. Probably best to confirm, eh? Thank you. I followed the tracks as far as I could from the killing ground. I left a red flag as a marker. From there, I ventured no further. Do you wish to talk about what happened with the beast? You killed my sister. I have nothing more to say to you. I'm sorry for your loss. Thick Skin hired me to rid the forest of the beast. It was a haunting. I resolved it. Your work presents you with ill-starred choices. I hope they weigh heavy. They do. More than you could know. Thank you for your honesty, Red McWraith. I... believe you. Goodbye to you for now, Kate. Oh, damn this to hell. Just our luck that when we need Seeker the most, she disappears. I still don't understand why the ritual failed. Let's just find the hut. Symbols. The hut may be near. I sense magic. Could Seeker be here?
afraid to take a wee punch on you. This can't be a coincidence. Could Grace be Seeker? Dusty. Seeker hasn't been here for a long time. Anyone home? More demonology. Unusual for a witch. These two schools of magic don't usually see eye to eye. Perhaps Lamy could help us with the spell. Right there. Fall from grace. That's not funny. And neither is this. Aye. Fair enough. Now we know. She's in the mountains. There's a ritual of dissimulation. And we need the catalyst. The circle powers the door. But I don't know the symbol. I don't know it, but I think Lamy might. We did well to come here. Now we know where she's hiding. Soon we'll be able to use the pond. All we need is the key to the dissimulation spell. And Lamy Haskell will help us with that. Oh, uh, sure. Whatever it is, out with it. Oh, now what I say is worth listening to. Only when it doesn't slow us down. You're in an awful hurry. We need to get this right. We cannot afford to fail. We won't fail if you stop dragging your feet. No governor, no meeting house, and it seems no faith. Well, hello there. What a pleasant surprise. I was fair and sure that I'd never see you again. Very often. Mm. 
far away, God willing. Build bridges, say the wise, that people may better understand each other. Build a jetty, say I, so that a ship may come and we can leave. New Eden is a fascinating study for you and I, but for ordinary folk, it is, as I've heard it put, a shite hole. Leaving changes nothing. You just end up making the same mistake somewhere else. We must always be open to the possibility that people may learn from their mistakes. Is that not right, Mr. McCraith? Spoken like a leader. I fear, however, that not everyone shall listen. I fear what shall befall them if they stay behind. We found a page ripped from a book. Yeah, do you recognize it? Let me see. Is this from the Trismegistus riddles? <laughs> yes, it seems to be. Why would you bring me one mildewed page from an amusing but harmless little book? Why would you fail to disclose that you'd given another ritual to another friend? It was a long time ago. I said after Caleb I'd distribute no more rituals, and that's what I've done. Uh, not done. We know. But we're looking for Grace Pennington now, and we were hoping you'd help us find her. Who? Really, boy? Oh, I'm sorry, Mistress Antea. You said Grace's name, and it is my reflex to protect her. Ever heard of someone named Seeker? Seeker? No. Sounds like a title, like my true pursuer. This Seeker... Is she Grace? Is she alive? Do you know where she is? We think she's Grace. We hope she's still alive. We're trying to find out. We think she's hidden herself away behind your dissimulation spell. Uh, then you'll need to unravel it. Shouldn't be too difficult once you're armed with the salient facts. When was the last time you saw Grace Pennington? It had to be a few days after I brought her the cloaking ritual. When I returned to visit, the hut had disappeared. Which makes sense now that I think of it. That's it? You never again tried to find your best friend. Your only friend. Well, you see... Some weeks later, the first whispers of witchcraft started to fly about town. I kept my head down, and Grace was better off out of it. I was right. And I'm glad she escaped. Strange to think of her again after so long. How does the ritual work? It creates illusions so effective that they deceive even the keenest eye. There are more effective cloaking spells, but the Trismegistus riddles do have a simple elegance. The short version, please. Ending with how we break it. Yes, yes, of course. To achieve that, all you need is the caster's full name and the symbol used to make fast the illusion. Grace Pennington and a triangle pointing downwards. Well then, now all you need is a simple counterspell from the same book and... Oh, my. What now? I'm afraid I left my copy in the Araloo. In the void. That's just great. Just great. Yes, but in my defence, once you've retrieved the book, dispelling Grace's illusion will be like a walk in the park, comparatively speaking. <laughs> we overheard you. What are you working on? I, to my horror, am working on a speech. It's... well, it's terrible. I don't even know where to start. No ask for advice, but I'll give it anyway. You could start with forgiveness. Seems appropriate. That might just work. Thank you! 
Are things that bad? Tell the truth, I don't rightly know. They don't trust me. They tell me nothing, and when they do, they're probably lying. And without the wards... Well... I fear things will get worse before they get better. In fact, they already have. Spectres walk, and we are in need of a banisher. Or two. If you can bring people peace, well, I doubt they'll be grateful. But perhaps they should have the strength to believe in a brighter future. Thank you for your help. Could you tell Grace that I'm still her friend? I'd be glad to see her again. Once we find her, we'll be glad to tell her. To do. A new building needs a solid. Go on then. Talk to me. I'll hold back. You act as though all is well. As though I had not died. I'm dead. And I'm not alright. I'm not alright at all. But you pretend not to see it. That makes me angry. And it makes me sad. I never wanted that. I know. But it still felt that way. Something lingers here that did not before. We're not alone.
Try this on for size. Fight! The heart's yours. The roots are mine. Look, I couldn't talk about it. Couldn't talk about what? You accused me of pretending not to see that you're dead. That's how I feel, Red. You have to accept it. I just... I couldn't face your death. I admit that. Your death... left me desolate. I knew in my heart that it should have been me. Then you came back. I snatched at a chance to undo what had been done. I don't wish to deny your pain. No. I've just tried to deal with mine. Wow. That's... I hadn't thought of it that way. Thank you for your honesty.
This looks like Lamy's stuff. Only more scattered. Even with the void shifting, the book should be around here somewhere. Got it. That seemed a little too easy. We have the symbol we need. Let's go back to the mountain and find her hiding place. First things first, Red. You shouldn't stay in there. I have another in sight. for you. about to shoot. I'm right here, you know.
said down. This is it. Seeker is behind this wall. Let the veil of unknowing be lifted. Let us see through the eyes of Grace Pennington. Surprisingly slow, even for a banisher. You're late. Or early. At last we find you. Missed me that much, did you? You could have hurried. You always think you have more time. And suddenly, you don't. It wasn't in vain. We have come far and learned much. I hope so. But don't think you have it all figured out. You're still banishers, after all. We are indeed, Grace. So, you know. I know you're Pennington's daughter. Still, I see the family resemblance. In the end, neither could he. I must have hurt. Does it matter now? The captain is no more, and till the end, so was his daughter. I defied him. I sought forbidden knowledge and stepped beyond the boundaries. At the end of that most painful of journeys, Grace was dead. And Seeker was born. Yes, it hurt. But it was worth it. I accept it now. I accept it all. Ceridian has left a hollow, and I am called to fill it. I accept I am ready for my role in this world. Are you ready for yours? The time has come for us to go back to New Eden and face the nightmare. Yes. Balance must be restored. You must face your fate and end the curse. Ceridian said the only way back was through the void. But the pond seemed broken. We need your help. Of course you do. We're listening. Remember Ceridian's words. If you were to defeat the Nightmare, your hearts must be open to each other. No barriers. Your bond must be strong. We've never been stronger. This Void Breach is not like the others. This one... leaks. This one sits at the rotten core of the entire region. You must leave whatever still burns in your hearts at the threshold. If you don't, 
the Void will kill you. Do you know where in New Eden Town the Void shall lead us? The trick is to focus on your happiest memories and let them take you there. At least that's how it's always worked for me. We'll try. And when at last you succeed, I too shall return to New Eden Town. I shall see you there. With that, we'll take our leave. Bring peace to this troubled land and your troubled hearts, my friends. I know it's not easy to hear, especially when it's me saying it. On the contrary. Thank you, Seeker. We'll do our best. She's the custodian now. May she have all the wisdom of her mentor and more. I wish I had half the wisdom of mine. You're not as stupid as you sound. You'll be fine. Did you feel that? It's close. Ready to cross that breach? In the fields outside Havana, the air is thick and hot this time of year. The downpour lasts for days. I used to lie on the grass, face to the sky, and let the rain wash over me. I'd come home soaked through, smelling of salt and dirt, and drove my mother insane. I never thought I'd hear myself say this. But I miss it. I miss home. Tell me about your mother. She was tall. Eyes like jeweled daggers, flashing sharp one moment, pure beauty and poise the next. She was about as predictable as the weather. It made me nervous. I doubt the years have softened her. In her defense, I was a decidedly insolent child. I should have written. I should have taken the time to visit. And I should have told you, as often as I felt it, how deeply in love I am with your tenacity. You seize the light and cling to it, no matter what. I am stubborn when I want to be. I'm also charming as hell. You have your moments. And we'll have many more. You and me. Always. Thank you. For standing by my side through it all. For everything. Into the fray then. Always.
What is it? Baggage I may need to finally face. Let's press on. Stay watchful. Spectres are still drawn to you. Oh, brilliant. You chose the schoolhouse too. Of course. Our last night together. I knew it. And now the question is, how do we reach it? I like your doll. What are you doing? This is Aleja. She is a witch. And she is running away from the Spanish soldiers. She had a horse, but he died. He was an old friend. Patience, Antea. You know that we have to be twice as good as them to get half of what they have. Ugh. I can't stand anymore. Wasn't I always? <laughs> I think your mother is jealous of you. I'm better than she was at night. Of course she is. We could train in secret. Practice when she's not looking. These are memories from my childhood. But why here? This isn't over yet. Over there, a passageway. The paths form and reform. Your passageway's already gone. This place has a plan for us, and I suspect we may not like it. It's just us here and there. Damn it! The void centers in on us. Perhaps you've been thinking about your past, the memories are manifest. Or the other way around.
Rory. Tell me. Calendre is here. Your childhood friend is here. What passed for my friend. Right. We leave now. You explain later. Wants us to feel powerless. <laughs> I'll feast on your soul. You won once. Never again. Never again. Come and play, Andrea. You will never leave this place. You can't go round the fire. You must go through. Oh, you there. All alone. No one to play with. No one to talk to. Poor oh, little Andrea. Gifted and talented, constricted, bound, abandoned. Go to hell. Look at you dead, vain and foolish, and oh, the healing he has done for you. You're a poison to the goodness of your man's heart. This thing was never human, Red. Don't indulge it. Have you forgotten, Red? Just who you are? Damn you. You want to play, Calendre? Fine. Let's play. At last you visit Calendre, your bestest friend. We are not friends, and your name is not Calendre. <laughs> Perhaps I should name myself by what called me to you. Your weariness? Your solitude? <laughs> your arrogance? 
You cannot play your old tricks with me, Kalendre. I am stronger now. So much stronger. <laughs> Bold of you to claim for a very dead banisher. I was a little girl when we met. You used me, manipulated me, and made me believe that was love. However arrogant, however angry I was, you changed me, disfigured me. I abandoned my home. I fled from everything and everyone. I thought I had to be alone so that you could never happen again. For that, I forgive myself. But you, Kalendre, no. You I do not forgive. <laughs> what will you do when you have sacrificed your lover's conscience so to reclaim your body? Will you forgive yourself then? I don't need you. I never did. Your tricks don't work on me. Not anymore. I shall not let you go. No. This is my realm now. You sent me here. And now that you have joined me, I shall feed. Then you are still a fool. Antea, Antea. Such a clever girl. So good with words of power. Is that how you seduced your little pet here? <laughs> My name is Nasuku, and I am the relentless servant of the Queen of Kerr. The hell? Come, stay a while, stay forever. Demon, we've a game to end. Ah! <laughs> 
Hugging all the fun? Running away? <sighs> Come back, Calendre. We're not done. I never told you the full story. I'm sorry. No need. Please, let's get out of here. Onwards. There's no more time. To... Is the entire town lost to Ivy? Her influence must still be strong. But as Charles would say, another day, another soul to save. These people have no idea what they're up against. We really had no idea what we were walking into. You died. Because I was arrogant. I did. And you were.
I'm ready to shoot the infested roots. After you bruise the heart. over yet. Don't let that specter get to the core. Watch out! Spectre possession! A lecture on the sanctity of marriage. A pretty word for a set of shackles. I'm sure folk here are just as open minded as Charles. I miss us. We'll soon be back. Back together. Always. Forever. I see a light. How? Huh? Esther still be here. should set sail somewhere warm and safe. The dead don't linger. No such place. But it's not a bad idea. Lesser palingenesis ritual. I've never done anything like this. This is an odd kind of homecoming. Tis strange to be back. Tis strange to sleep near the place where you died. Still, rest you should. You'll need it. 
and you can't bathe twice in the same river. It's not the same river and you're not the same man. And yet nothing shall ever be the same again. Aye. You'll come back changed. And you'll come back to find that I am changed. Of course we'll have changed, but we'll be alive. With a lifetime of changing stretching out before us. And we'll be together. For better or worse. Something's missing. Something happened to us and you came back and I'm so glad you did. But I don't know why. That night in this room, I asked you for caution. I worried you'd act rashly and you promised me you would not. Then you did it anyway. I thought you'd gone to the meeting house without me. I died to save you. Is that why your ghost returned? Is that why you stayed? Yes, I stayed because I was angry. Angry with you. I think I've known that for a while now. The anger lingers. Part of me resents you yet. For my pain and my fear. For my suffering. For my dying. I resent you. Dear, I am truly sorry. I know you are. But soon, I'll be back. Then we'll both bathe in this new river, together. It is time. What if we... What if I fail once more? One wrong choice will exact a heavy price. Whatever happens, we will face it. For better or worse. Watch out! Spectre possession! Can I join in too? Has seen a corpse and it wants it for its own. let us in so easily. A few roots will not stop us. suffers we suffer my friends I have disturbing news among us walks a witch is that not so Deborah Comenius lock her up no no tis not true I am no witch 
So that's how it all began. Aye. With ordinary evil from the hearts of fearful men. Deborah Comenius, this court finds you guilty of the devil's work. Guided by God's mercy, I pass sentence on the witch. Pain forte dieu. Confess and name your accomplices, or die for your sins. I have nothing to confess. How could they have let this happen? Not a soul stood or spoke for her. There's no justice here. It's a travesty. Good money. None stand for you. Your coven has betrayed you. Name them, and you shall live. I am no witch. You know this. All of you. Do not turn away from me. You must release me. You must. Will no one speak for me? Anyone? Please, help me. Help me! I feel her distress. Her rising terror. Her dark despair. She suffered enough. And so have we. Here, my body, my flesh displayed like a trophy. More like bait. So, the circle is complete. Do you return to the beginning? Or is it the beginning of your return? Paradox. How clever. How it pleases you to play with time. I do not play. Deborah, we know what happened to you. We know what they did to you. What they did. What they do. I shatter yet. We're not here to hurt you. You have my body and I want it back. That's all. Help us. Because we can help you. No, you cannot. You are 
are just like them! Enough. You are me. Yet you oppose me. They murdered us. Make them pay. No. They do not deserve our rage, not these two. All oh, deserve our wrath. They crushed the breath from us. You know this. You asked for this. It's over. You have been heard. The truth is out. No! Come back! Feed upon the pain, the treachery, the outrage! No more. It hurts. Behold my wrath! Flow into a cage! Yes, they 
they do. But what was it all for? It must end. I don't need to be anymore. It's certainly going well. Enough pain now. There must be a reckoning! The pain may end right now. The reckoning is here. Spare me your compassion, for it comes far too late. Who are you? I am retribution. A word. An idea. But who are you? I am her fury. No longer. I am their nightmare! You were. You believe you've won? It will not be so easy. For I will end your dreams. Is that an end to it? Yes. If you want it to be. Are you sure? In your hand, you weigh my death. The last stone laid upon my broken body. I'm so very sorry. Will you leave? Are you ready? I have lingered so very long. Where now will I go? I don't know. A better place, I believe. A quiet place. Quiet is good. Deborah Comenius, mere words can ill describe your suffering. And if they could, I'd not utter them now. Enough wrong has been done you. Your tale is told, and we thank you for it. You are hurt, and free to go.
Hey, I'm right here. Aye, you are. It's time for the lesser palingenesis. Time to bring you home. From flesh to word, word to heart. From flesh to word, word to heart. Air to fire, fire to earth. I'm hollowing, it's working. Air to fire, fire to earth. Ending to beginning, indivisible. Death to the living, life to the dead. Ending to beginning, indivisible. Death to the living, life to the dead. Antea. Antea! Liar. What? You swore on it, Ruri McGraith. You swore you'd bring me back. Step away, Banisher. That's not Antea. Oh. At our first meeting, I took your measure. I found you wanting. How I was right. What the hell? Where's Antea? You have failed her. Again. Deborah! Enough games. Let them go. Let us go. Hush, child! Uh. The adults are talking. No! Leave her! She's innocent! Innocence is another name for buried guilt. She's not done with us. Not by a long way. Not for a long time. Find me. Find us. Betrayer, oathbreaker, rat! You forsook your one true love! For this, you deserve a reward. The same reward over and over. No. Let her go. Please. Let her go. I beg you, no. Take me instead. Let her go. Cowardice, anger, treachery. This and more is the stuff of our tragedy. Zealotry, ignorance, hubris. The list of human failings is endless, and in this fertile soil grows all of our miseries. Though Antea and Red won many battles against a devious and relentless foe, right now, the war seems lost, for a nightmare is born of the darkest injustice and will brook no mercy. But hope remains. The curse may yet be lifted. Some brave soul may yet defy the nightmare that once was Deborah Comenius in the meeting house in New Eden. She awaits their return. Ah, you're awake. Who are you? 